to the stream. This is Python TV Gaming Live on YouTube. Getting ready to play some more GTA 5 with you guys online. And today is Friday. <clears throat> April 5th. Man, what a day. Alright, guys, let's get into the game, shall we? All right, we're getting to online right now. Alright guys, we are in GTA Online and um, ranked 2,233, money wise we're at 1,699,481,636 dollars in GTA 5 Online with money. We are going to continue where we left off at in our hangar trying to get this full to sell and make some good cash. Hopefully we can. So let's see here. We're at 45 out of 50 crates. Only 5 left to go and then we're going to sell it and... We're going to sell it and do it again. It's been one of those days. over there then after all let's go
That's a good thing I found it that quick. I didn't want to spend any time in that situation. You find the cargo? Mr. Marshall! Marshall in the house. Marshall in the house. He's gonna lay down the law. Marshall in the house. What a martial law man. Woo. Woo. Woo woo. <laughs> Dude, I saw that video of how... If you get griefed by a griefer, and then you get and then you get your kill back, and he reports you, you get in trouble. That's just so dumb. That's like a, a you know, a I don't know. It's gonna be very abusive, you know. Yeah, and like you said, Batman cannot live without Joker. <laughs> Man, it's like having a Batman movie without Joker as an enemy. And that's his true villain, you know, true nemesis. You know, it's insane. Hey, Caleb, how's it going? Good to see you, dude. Happy Friday. <laughs> I'm in a friend lobby, by the way. Yeah, I'm just, uh, got off work, man. It was, it was pretty slow, and then all of a sudden the calls started picking up real busy. Yeah, it was crazy, dude. I was like, man, I wish I got you up, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Yeah, something. Best Joker out there is uh, Heath Ledger. Yeah, I mean, Heath Ledger is a good... I should I say, was a brilliant actor in all his films. But he did bring out the Joker really well, but it haunted him. But between him and uh, Jack Nicholson and Joaquin Phoenix... Those are my top three best jokers. I did not like Jared Leto at all in Suicide Squad. I thought he was like really, really dumb. So. Yeah, he was <laughs> very. Dude, made. He, he, you know, his character as Joker looked more like a pimp than anybody else, you know? It's like insane. Yeah. Am I a salesperson? Yes, but I handle key accounts. I also support accounting for new accounts time to time when they need help. Pretty skilled. It's not like taken. I don't have a, you know. Like a really good skill set, you know, with the uh, with the ideas, like Liam Nielsen. <laughs> with the um, oh man, <laughs> Batman. I'm Batman. Damn. Hey, hey, Chris, how's it going, dude? Oh my god. I don't think my bunker's gonna be any, you know, is I gonna be full tonight, today, maybe? I don't know. Well, I'll play as long as I can. Sell it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, true.
True. I mean, I would like to keep working on this every single day, you know? But I got other games to play, man. And, and you know, I like to play those other games. You know, it's so much fun. Wondering if I should buy supplies though at 60k. Uh, you know what? I'll just let it keep working. And then I'll buy supplies when the supply levels are low. I'll just sell my vehicle that's in the ammunition. Why not? Yeah. I saw your your response in the group chat that you're probably what you're you're thinking about getting skull and bones, Marshall. Okay, it's a fun game, you know it is, and uh, you saw me play it, and it's a lot of grinding though. That's the thing, okay. especially harvesting for those materials. <clears throat> Yeah. Oh, I love The Rock, uh, Caleb. He's actually one of my favorite wrestlers. Same with Stone Cold, Triple H, Kane, Undertaker. I'm not much of a John Cena person, but I think he's cool. Brock Lesnar. NWO. <laughs> oh my god, man. Sting. I love Sting, dude. I think some wrestlers feared Sting a little bit, didn't they? Yeah, like the intimidation of Sting. Yeah. I think that was the uh, idea from the movie The Crow, because they were looking for like some kind of... Uh, you know, persona, you know what I mean? And then we're looking at Sting, the wrestler, of how he was dressed. They said, you know what, that looks really cool. We should do that, but, you know, add the black eyeshadow on Brandon Lee, you know, add a little white on his face, and there you go. He's pretty cool, you know? But that movie's cursed, though, you know? Because the way, because of what happened to him in the end of the film, when he got shot. It, act, it actually did kill him, you know. And the movies got rebooted though, actually remade. And I don't know, man. The the actor that plays Pennywise in the new It taking on that role as the Crow. I think it will break the curse if they can, you know, pursue it. We'll see. It's been 20 years since that happened. Uh, uh, Roman Reigns. I don't. I'm not really a fan on the Bloodline that much, but I do like Jey Uso. Jey Uso is a really cool wrestler. He really is. The whole Bloodline thing when they rolled. Um, I'm like, I was like, alright, they're dominating, but I hate to see the same champion. I want to see him flip him up, you know? I want Cody to win against Roman. But will it happen? I don't know. Yeah, he did. Hulk Hogan. Uh, Hulk Hogan, man. Yeah, I hope Cody Rhodes win. I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that, Caleb. I really want Cody to win the title. And between Seth and Drew McIntyre, I want Seth to win too, but we'll see what happens. And for the Tag Team Championship, I want the Judgment Day to lose. <laughs> I don't care who it would be for the, you know, six-man ladder match or something. 
who you want to win in the six man ladder match in WrestleMania, Marshall? Uh, Judgment Day's in it. Um, forgot who the other five are, but you know the 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 bus the the brawling brutes or something. Yeah, I think one of them are in there with their tag team. Maybe it's the same guys. I don't know, but that's the second team. And then for the other four, I can't really say, but. I can't remember. I should have paid attention to Monday Night Raw. <clears throat> yeah, Peacock, right? Yeah, me too. I'll probably uh, catch it tomorrow or something, or like the highlights or something. I don't know. You're gonna go with Judgment? You think Dominic Mysterio deserves to be in the Judgment Day? I think they should kick him out. Twenty <laughs> uh. thirteen for you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark Henry, oh my god. Oh yeah. Dude! Those were the days, man. I mean, a lot of money for, what, an hour? Hour and a half, maybe? Yeah. All psyched up. Those were the good old days. <laughs> oh man. Mm hmm. Dude, the last time I watched anything on TV, you know, with pay-per-view, when I was a younger kid, and I think it was between, um, it was WWF at the time, and I think Stone Cold was in there, you know? Yeah, I can't remember all the details, but during that time, WCW was also on in pay-per-view, right? And uh, yeah. that was when uh, Hulk Hogan, Dennis Rodman, you know, and the NWO and stuff, you know, going for the title or something. I don't know. Tag team champs or something. I don't remember. And uh, and uh, we were at our friend's house watching this. And uh, yeah. yeah, that was when NWO, I think, won the tag titles with Hogan and Rodman. I don't remember. Yeah. But Hogan was in there and Robin Rodman was there too, Dennis Rodman. And oh my god, it was I think it was against the Steiner brothers before Scott went to NWO, you know, he was still with his brother. Rick and stuff. So But my God. But yeah, the brother versus brother between Jimmy and Jay Uso, I think Jay Uso is gonna win too. I don't know. Hope so. But um, Triple H and Shawn Michaels was a match before, too. Before they became DX. Yeah, I remember that. I don't care what anyone says, guys, but China was pretty hot. China's hot. That's all I gotta say. She I know, right? It's a... If someone says to us, uh, Marshall, that that China looks like a man, guess what? I love her man handle me. I don't care. You? <laughs> yeah. 
She'd probably be like this. If she was still alive, I'm just saying she'd be like this. As you say, Marshall, I'm going to teach you a lesson. You'd be like, please, China, do it. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, man. It's so funny. Yeah. I remember at one time it was uh, Vince McMahon trying to get Stone Cold fired in any means necessary and uh and uh the funny moment was when vince mcmahon was in the hospital for like a stomach ache or something or something and the uh, doctor was stone cold started beating the shit out of him he's like excuse me vince and then vince mcmahon goes yes doc oh my god steve you know and start beating the shit out of him in his bed hit him with a pot pan and stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, this is funny. I, I don't know, man. He probably will win. I just want Cody to win. It's always gonna be that situation anyway. Well, Mike Tyson, though. Against Jake Paul, dude. If this was back in the day, Mike Tyson in his prime, Jake Paul would get wrecked. 100%. I can't stand Jake Paul. Or Logan Paul, for that matter. How about you, Marshall? Same. Yeah. What about Evander Holyfield versus Jake Paul? Who do you think will win that fight? <laughs> I mean, Evander uh, Holyfield is actually a, a lot better shape than Mike Tyson, I think. You know what I mean? But if we're talking about back in the prime of Mike Tyson, dude, Mike Tyson will wreck him. Will wreck Jake Paul in a hundred different ways. He would chew them up and spit them out. Oh, I love Rikishi. My God. Who loves Rikishi? I love Rikishi. I remember he does a butt, butt thing on your face. He'd be like, hey, how about this twerk? <laughs> He'd be like, yeah, baby. Man. It was fun. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. I, I think Jake Paul is a shitty boxer anyway. Everything that he fought is uh, pretty much fixed. In a way. I think it's a joke too. You're not alone on that. But, you know the memes of Rikishi, dude? Oh my god, they're hysterical. I remember one time I was watching this one meme where it was a bathroom stall yeah, I and uh i think mark henry was in there and he's like what's in the bathroom it stinks in there right and he's like trying to hold his breath <laughs> oh it was booker t okay okay i thought it was mark henry at first you know like when i was like watching the video and then i'm like okay but booker t is like oh my god and then rikishi comes out <laughs> And, uh, oh man, that's so funny. Rikishi's great. I love Rikishi. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh yeah, and gave him the stink anyway, right? <laughs> oh my god. 
Uh, yeah, so funny. Shit. Hopefully, uh, Kessler gets on tonight, too. He says he was at one more robbery left and then get the car and we can help him sell all three of his cars, I guess. <laughs> Caleb, I would love to see Jake Paul suffer a career ending injury in boxing. I would love to see him get severely injured. What about you, uh, Marshall? Do you hope to see Jake Paul get a career ending injury from boxing? Hello, call again. Goodbye. <laughs> Man, we're cruel, huh, Kappa? <laughs> yeah, we're cruel. <laughs> I would love to see it. <clears throat> yeah, but you know what pissed me off though between them, them guys, the um, the Pauls. When uh, when when they went to a foreign country, and you know in Japan, suicide forced, you know, because that's what it's known for, and they stumble across this dead corpse, you know, and portrayed him on video, that, that was really disrespectful, you know, and that's, ever since that happened, I said, yeah, fuck those two guys, and, but either way, you know, it just makes you think about them as a per, as people, you know, they're just pieces of shit, really. Hate to say it, but it's true. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, Logan... Logan Paul, though, Caleb, is, to me, is really... You know, he's a piece of shit, too. Him and his brother. Prime drink kind of... It's pretty nasty. I tried it before. Oh, you were going to say something, Marshall? My bad. Oh, Muhammad Ali is as a character in the game? Like a downloadable character? Like an add-on? Okay. I need to get me that game. Man, casket matches. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Damage control. EO Sky versus Bailey will be on WrestleMania, too. I think Bailey is going to win. I hope so. What do you think? I hope so. She wins. I don't even see the crusher on my map, so I'm just taking a gamble here where it, where it could be at. I'm just giving Skull and Bones a break for two days because I need to recuperate. <laughs> I'll be on it tomorrow when I get home from the movies after watching Godzilla so we can talk about it. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
The problem is in my theater over here, man. It, even though it came out on that Friday, it's always packed. You know? Yeah. Um. For some reason, Marshall, my mission to take him to the crusher, it's not popping up. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna solve this problem. I'm gonna take him to the gas station. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blow him up at the gas station. I'll take fifteen thousand. Why not? This game pissed me off. <laughs> nah, I tell you what. Well, level fourteen forts are very hard. Um when I met this kid the other day playing it, I asked him, how are we supposed to go up against a level 14, you know, VIA text, and, uh, and we're both level 12, and he's like, distance is key, and I'm like, alright, um, it's not a bad idea for, you know, being far away, you know, with distance, but... You gotta use your mortar, you gotta use your, um, front weapon, your cannons, and whatnot. But, I don't know, man. I think, I think they are going to release large ships soon. Hopefully season two. That would be really good. Just because it will be best to do so, you know? So, I don't know. If they do release large ships, Man of Wars, oh my god. It will be very, very impressive, but I don't know if you can make it between them small areas. Rivers and trying to go get our pieces of eight. But maybe for the loot, yeah. Loot will be worth it. But, my god. Very. I wonder if they're gonna give us, like, more options of, you know, for cannons, you know what I mean? Like, like, uh, one front weapon, top left cannons, bottom left torpedoes, bottom right torpedoes, right cannons. Then you have your mortar or whatever, and then your stern for your other weapons. You know, top cannon, bomb, torpedo. Dude, that would be an overkill for a man of war ship, right? Dude, I would I would die. <laughs> like, really die to see that. <laughs> I'll probably have a nervous, uh, nervous system breakdown or something. Like, starts twitching or something I'd be like G -g 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 guys guys oh shit 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 and then someone would probably be like um did Python did Python just had a seizure that we don't know about and I'm like I'm so excited <laughs> you know what the fuck did he just say <laughs> Uh, that, yeah, I would definitely turn into an Eric for like five seconds. Kappa. <coughs> yeah, that would be pretty wild. Thirty thousand gold skull rum and skull bones, Caleb. Dude, that's a lot of rum, man. I love the delivery, the delivery missions though. That one's fun. It really is. But I just want, I just need more cargo space. 
I, I want to have a large class to use in uh, Skull and Bones. Man of War or something. The Bark is a good ship. It heals, it's, it helps me save my um, med packs and stuff, but you don't really need level ones anyway. Mm -hmm. You think they'll nerf silver? Oh man. That would suck. If they nerf silver, they're gonna have to nerf to fund the hustle takeover businesses so it doesn't cost a lot of silver just to resupply them. Especially level 10. They take a lot of silver from that. Marshall, what do you think um, when GTA 6 does come out along with the online after 6 or you know 6 months to a year after the main game gets released and they allow online do you think they're gonna do right away those you know that you do heists and all that stuff right away or do you think it's gonna be a slow process like it did with 5? I'm betting that too. Slow process too. Yeah. I agree. A hundred percent. It's gonna be like slow process 2.0, Kappa. They're not gonna... Ca I don't think they're gonna cancel GTA 5 either for server, you know? Yeah. Right. Shit, I used to do that. I'll beat pedestrians up. I, uh... Kill the clerks to steal their stuff. I did a lot of stupid stuff. <clears throat> yeah, man. I had to go to the front door and get my food. And I'm playing off camera. Well, away from the TV. Soy sauce. Ah, oh, fuck it. The car goes in the cargo bay. That's what it's I for. I got the food, babe. You know, because of course you put it there. Huh? Yelling. I'm not yelling. No, no, I didn't get Chinese. Uh, I got a kimono, Japanese uh, steakhouse, and uh, I got sushi. Yeah, Rebecca got a teriyaki chicken. Yeah, looks good. Watch your step, babe. <laughs> but yeah man it's always I don't know man I think GTA 5 is not going to quit its servers at all dude DoorDash does suck sometimes I think 
I can't even tell you how many times we ordered food and people just uh, in DoorDash can't find our apartment or took our food. How many times we reported them, got our money back. Um, I don't know if they, you know, they got their accounts, you know, for DoorDash canceled because of theft. I don't know. But people, I, I just can't stand thieves. Really can't. I don't mind playing as a thief in Skull and Bones because, you know, we're a pirate, Kappa. Hold on. Yeah, but Door DoorDash. It depends on who it is, but but you can't really trust anybody. That's why I got me a ring cam. You know, can't trust people with packages either, because people will steal your package, especially when it's like Amazon or FedEx. You know, those people that will follow the truck. Yeah. Fucking pirates. Papa John's? Yeah, that's actually one of my accounts, too. <laughs> Papa John's, Mountain Mike's, Little Caesars, Pizza Hut. It's kind of funny how last night Andy was like... Hey, do you oversee the bop and grill? I'm like, uh... Where? Here in Chicago. I'm like, alright, let me check. And I confirmed the address with him. He's like, yeah, that's it. Took a picture, sent it to me. And I'm like, yep, it's ours. Why? We just switched. We just left Coke. Got out of that contract for a year. Or some. That's the thing, people do switch all the time, so... You know, it's always something. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah, and the way Andy was talking about that girl from Coke, he's like, Man, this I'm gonna miss that Coke field rep though because she's so gorgeous and I'm like you were you just you were hitting on her weren't you and he's like yep and I'm like damn dude what a dork <laughs> really Caleb oh my god Caleb said that someone Ate all his fries from DoorDash when you ordered McDonald's. Dude, that would... Yeah, and they had it sealed. Dude. Tony, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. DoorDash has always seemed to be a problem, but any other person, Uber Eats, or something else is not that, you know, rare. But, yeah. That sucks. One week from today, guys. The 13th of April, I'm getting a puppy. And we're gonna have that puppy on microphone too. And I'm gonna be like, come here, pup. Come here, Coco. What are you gonna say? Wait, what, what Coco is? And then hear the, you guys are gonna hear the puppy just uh, have a little fun barking and playing. Probably gonna bite my feet. You know, try to bite my toes off or something. I don't know, man. It's gonna be cute, man. Starting all over again. Lucy's in the grave spinning around going, Why'd you do that? I was your only dog! 
and I'm like, I'm sorry, Lucy. You were so such a good dog, and we love you, but we no, we we want a doggy. I will haunt you forever. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, man. Uh, the dog is a terrier and chihuahua mix. So it's a small breed. Very small dog. When Lucy was alive, she was a black lab chow mix. So. So yeah. Yeah, our dog was such a good dog. We raised her with the cats when they were kittens and she was like a little older for 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 being a puppy and stuff when she was dumped when lucy was dumped on us um out of all the houses she managed to come to ours and i was at work and um yeah we raised lucy with the kittens and ever since then Lucy was fine. Now, the role is reversed because I have two cats, Polly and Callie, and I don't know how they're going to react to a puppy. This would be the first time ever. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be okay, you know? Polly is more hyperactive, so I'm a little worried about Polly more than I am with Callie, because Callie would, like, get out of the way you know and do her own thing but for Polly on the other hand he can be very aggressive not just you know not, not like scratching or hissing or fighting you know more like playful aggressive you know so we'll see Polly does need a buddy but yeah 200,000 agency 95 in the arcade. Alright, Kessler. Kessler says he'll be on in a few minutes. <laughs> He's, oh, wait, Kessler said he wants it again? Kessler, hey Kessler, did you into the gym? Kessler went to the gym, I think. I don't know, he didn't say anything yet, but... I know his gym, but I'm just being funny. <laughs> I just pissed Kessler off a little bit. Okay, he went to the gym. He went to the gym for sure. Alright. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, you know the pirate songs in this in the in the game Skull and Bones, how they play. Uh, you know that song Drunken Sailor? How about this one? Drunken Sea Bro <laughs> Yum 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 <laughs> And uh with uh, Bully in the Alley. I'm gonna rename it to Kessler in the alley and leave her Johnny to uh, leave her Kessler. <laughs> same song, same lyrics, but different name. <laughs> Just change it up. There you go. Remember that one time we had in the party chat, Skyler? Maddie and um, I think Jack and in the party chat one day 
Um, and I'm like, holy shit, Maddie's talking, Skyler's talking, Jack is talking. It's all fucking gibberish and confusing. Man, we need to add subtitles, remember? And, uh, and then I'm like, hey, guys, I have a joke. And uh, they, they were like, what? And I'm like, what's the difference between uh, an Englishman, a Scottish, and a Welsh? And they all go, and they all say what at the same time. And I said subtitles. And they're like, oh, fuck you, man. And I'm like, love you guys. That show was funny, though, but they were laughing, too, you know? They were just laughing. Uh, uh, how much would you... How much money would they make if they had a Jack Sparrow skin in Skull Bones? Um, in gold, I hope no more than a thousand. That would be really cool. If they made a Jack Sparrow skin in Skull and Bones, I would take it. Hell yeah. I hate I hate buying gold bars all the time. Uh, who's in the party? Just uh, Marshall and I. Um, Kessler. That's it just us two and uh I really wish you can buy pieces of eight not not just gold bars and skull and bones yeah I mean I buy gold because I want some certain cosmetics but sometimes I will skip it a little too late, Caleb. I bought $140 worth of gold bars total already in Skull and Bones. I know. I know what you're thinking. Dude! That's expensive, man. I know. I know. GTA, I never bought shark cards ever in my life. And look where I'm at right now. Red Dead Redemption? Yeah, I bought gold bars. For certain things, but the most I ever spent was 50 bucks on gold bars and Red Dead too. No, 144 isn't that much, but that 144 dollars, I technically paid 124 because I got a 20 dollar gift card by using my PlayStation reward points. So yeah. It's not that much, but hindsight, it can add up very quickly. But I wish Pieces of Eight was an option to buy. You can only dream, right? You can only dream. But Marshall, if you do end up getting Skull and Bones, um... It's not that bad of a game. It's a lot of fun, but you have to do a lot of missions, which I can help you with that, no problem. And I can, you know, help you with the earning silver and stuff, you know, by helping you. And then that way you can get those uh, hostile takeover areas, too. I'm trying to get Rebecca back in, but harvesting, harvesting for the best stuff and... Getting the best cannons and stuff is a challenge, man. Yeah, I finished the story nine too. I think everything else is a replayable, but I'm only gonna go for forts and hell missions. Storyline was fun. I really wish it gives your pirate a voice though to see how that would sound like. How'd you die, Marshall? What happened? Oh, this guy. Oh, you got the military, don't you? Uh, that one's hard. I mean, it can be annoying. You've been getting the demi, demi ca cannon? Uh, what, what version? Uh, what upgrade? Of the demi cannon. I'm gonna get the Zam Zam 3, man. That looks really good. 
I was able to get the mortar of the the flu. Level three, okay. Yeah, I've been trying to get all the best cannons, and then that way I can farm them, and then give them to my wife and also other people that are planning to get the game, so I can harvest some materials. It's just a challenge. I want to get all the teeth though, so I can get all the stuff for the teeth, for the, you know, the legendary sea monsters teeth. So that way I can get the, um, the blueprints and the special clothes of it. Hello, Angela. How are you? GTA 6. Oh, yeah. I'm going to pre-order it when it becomes available. I'm going to get the most expensive edition. I'm ready for it. What about you? Welcome to the stream, too. The Zamzam 3 is OP, doesn't have the range, and you can't aim high with that. Uh... Really? Oh, man. But that's all right. As long as you can hit hit hard with the Zamzam 3 and Skull and Bones, that would be cool, man. You won't pay 100 for GTA 6? Dude, I tell you guys something. I always buy the most expensive edition for each game, no matter what it is. Because you assume, you know, assume you're getting all the free updates, right? All the DLCs and stuff. It's just, you know, it's just how it is. But, um, yeah, I, I don't believe in getting standard that much. No, this is really necessary. Like, like, uh, for example, Red Dead Redemption 2. I bought the Ultimate Edition for a hundred bucks. Look what happened. The online sucks, but the storyline is good. It's okay, though. I'm not mad about it. And that's what Marshall will play in the chat. No, he's pretty pissed. He's just playing calm right now. <laughs> oh, man, I was really pissed. A hundred bucks spending it on the game, and then the online just was disappointing after a while. Yeah. I think it would change GTA Plus with top priority of GTA. Kester says he'll drop a hundred bucks. I know I will. I'll probably do more than a hundred bucks. If they have like the biggest edition, oh yeah, like ultimate, oh I'll definitely drop it. You know what that means? I'm gonna have to give Rebecca a hundred hours of Massage, <laughs> you know, give Rebecca a hundred hours of massage uh, therapy for her. She'd be like, "Hun, give me a massage. It's time for that hundred dollar uh, massage payback for, for from you." And I'm like, "Oh shit! Today, GTA Six just came out. Don't make me cancel it. How are you gonna cancel it? I already bought it." <laughs> I'll change your PSN password. Oh shit. She's using it against me. Damn it. <laughs> Man. That's not a bad deal. <laughs> Kato says it's not a bad deal. Oh shit. Shut up, Kester. And that's another thing, too, dude. On Ubisoft, my wife changed my name by accident. Man. It's not just a foot massage, man. It's like a full body massage. Her back, her shoulders. The whole thing, dude. It's always something. Wait a minute. The next time she comes in the room, uh, I'll um, we'll see if we can. I can get her on on the headset. Not on the headset, but over here. 
That would be a good little trial. Oh yeah, we were just talking about that. She was going to tell me about the PC on Amazon if it's an option. Pay some money down and pay as you go until it's paid off. I think it will be a better idea. I got one more crate left there, Marshall, and I'm able to sell my hangar and then rebuild again. Yep. Man, this should be a whole So backwards ass judge gonna try to throw the fucking case away. We gotta put a stop to it. I wanna pay I want you to go pay her a visit, kick her ass. I'll be like, all right, I'm going, I'm going. Yeah, I got uh, Helldivers 2 as well, guys. We'll probably be on that soon. Again. Um, but like I said, Skull and Bones is a very fun game. I'm trying my best to give every single game a chance to play and everything if it wasn't for GTA update this week I would have I would have been on Skull and Bones right now and plays Helldivers 2 on a weekend but of course things happens and changes and then so these simulators coming up with a new update in the summer too, which is really cool. Highway, patrol, and freeway, way stations, and trucks and semis. And that's cool. I hope to God they add motorcycles in the future. I don't know, man. Hey, Marshall, if a police simulator had uh, motorcycles that you can drive... I'm thinking chips, dude. You know the the TV show chips. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, punch. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, Police Simulator is a really fun game. I um, I enjoy playing it. I started playing that on PS4. And then I moved to 5, but the PS4 version was really glitchy at the time. I think it's, got, it's gotten better now, but the PS5 is way better. It's more smoother, and it feels, feels better on it than the delay. But it can be buggy at times when something happens. Caster's just mad because uh, when he rides with me... Um, He's, so, he's like, slow down, slow down, start screaming in my ear, dude. I'm like, god damn, Caster, why are you screaming? He's like, you almost hit that pedestrian. I'm like, there's nobody there. On my screen, there was. And I'm like, damn, Caster. I think Caster needs to update his internet, Kappa. Just kidding. Love you, Caster. Uh, speaking of police cars in GTA, I actually own every single police car in the game, and I have the police outfit in GTA. I don't really do roleplay all that much, but but I do tend to like to have fun with friends, so everybody knows. <laughs> Caster is getting so... I can smell the salt already. He's like, I have a gig in it, ass! <laughs> Caster so easily triggered, Kappa. Love you, Caster. You're like a brother to me, you know that, right? Yeah, I got the FIB badge in this game. Oh, Marshall. You know that mission with the uh, um, IAA? Maybe one day you and I should try to do the, the badge on that. 
Yeah. I want to try it. I, I need to I need to find like an open spot. Like I need to get rid of my other outfits though. Maybe I can get rid of the captain's outfit. Maybe. No, no. You know. Maybe. I like Mr. Chu. Might as well get rid of Ventura. Yeah, I'll probably get rid of Ventura. Python Ventura. <laughs> we can probably do that. Do the IAA badge with, uh, with it, I guess. Go for my last thing, man. Yeah, they put police cars in the game. Yeah, they did. Can't find it in any of your garages? Uh, are you looking on your vehicle management? Go to vehicle uh, organization. Yeah. Yeah, go to vehicle organization instead of going to your apartments. And there you can easily find it. My gauntlet interceptor is here. It's there. Yeah, I got a lot of vehicles, Caleb, as you can see. Whole lot of vehicles. It actually takes me like... Three hours to go through the whole thing of all my properties. Maybe a little longer now because of the amount of vehicles that are out at a time. You have a three-year-old phone? Nice. Should've seen my old phone before uh, anything else. <clears throat> I dropped it one time and then I had to get my SIM card out right away because my phone was blowing up. The battery was being um, overheating and smoking, cracking the sides, uh, static. I was shocked and burnt at the same time found it okay I had such a good time that day when uh, <laughs> when when I was chasing you <laughs> I don't know how role players can uh, can do that without mapping on, you know what I mean? As a cop. You know? That's a lot of ground. <clears throat> yeah, I got me a phone case coming tomorrow. Yeah. for my phone and stuff so I can have protection on it so it doesn't crack or something yeah but pretty similar that's coming uh, for the DLC for the summer it's gonna be two vehicles that you can use highway patrol car and maybe 
like a ta like a an advanced Tahoe, and um, there's gonna be trucks and semis, you know, way stations, um, police stations, like say highway patrol police stations, right? So it's gonna be big. Especially open shift. I don't know is it going to be a paid DLC that you have to get or is it going to be a free update and then get the two cars that are add-ons. I'm not sure. No idea. If the whole thing is indeed you have to pay for it, hopefully it's no more than what? 20 bucks? I don't know. Wouldn't be that bad. I'll be playing that for a few days. For sure. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know what Caleb said? He says, uh, he says, this, if a cop pulled me over, and he says, you know why I pulled you over? His reply is, because I let you. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Dude. That would be funny. Hey, uh, what about this one? If a police officer pulled you over and it's a female officer, what would you say? Marshall, what would you say if a police cop pulls you over and says, Excuse me, sir, you know why I pulled you over? Marshall's thinking, guys, I got him. Marshall, I got you. <laughs> you're, you're, you, uh, you paused. You paused. Uh oh. Oh, good response. No, babe, not yet. Oh man, Marsha's response, can I buy you dinner? <laughs> Caleb's response, are you going to arrest me? I've been a bad boy, oh god. Kessler's response, I got, ho I got hot, I asked for her phone number. Caleb's other response, do you want to see my gun? <laughs> Oh my god. And her response would probably be like, I got my guns bigger than yours. What you gonna do? Oh man. Shit. <clears throat> Come on, Kesser. Are you done with the gym? Spend more than a few minutes, Kappa. Yeah. All right, Caleb. A little bit too personal now, Kappa. He's like, I love getting handcuffed. Shit. All right, this is weird. Two point five million. Selling it for the land. Let's go. Okay. Delivery vehicle. We have five drops. Hopefully it's a good sale for those drops, because I'll cry if it's not. Um hmm. Yeah, this is the hangar mission is a better better um, business now than it was before. Fifty crates would be five hundred thousand dollars at the time. It's been fixed to be two point five mil now, 
and the top three best um, sources are hang are narcotics, medical supplies, or um, chemicals. It used to be very bad, not anymore. I stuck with it for a long time just because. So, this is a better business. Yeah, and this is permanent. This isn't double money, though. This is permanent. It's a permanent reform for the hangar. I couldn't believe it that they made it better, and ever since then, I've been working on it. You don't get raided. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, it's bulk, but... And you have an option to sell it with the land and so using air vehicles and you have to rely on help. But it's gotten better for the hangar. I'm gonna hit the last drop over there a little later. The one in the far right last. Uh oh. Marsha, how'd you die again? Oh. Sir, put the gun down! No! <laughs> I'll respawn! <laughs> Hey, uh, Mary, have that Munster location responded back to you or no? It <laughs> yeah. Hopefully they do respond hopefully on Monday so, so the customer can expect it Friday. Because she wanted to see if she can have it uh, tomorrow, right? And uh, if not, Friday rescheduled. Yes. I always do land sales in the hangar now. Because they can do it solo. I always like to wear the scuba suit. Because you never know you're going to go underwater. Especially with the salvage resupply mission, but yes, I always go um, land sale when the hangar is full, no matter what. We used to do it with the air all the time, but not anymore. Right, Marshall? Doing the uh, hangar missions, sail missions in the air has always been a problem because you never know if you're going to end up with havoc or um, D1 planes or Apaches. Apaches was better because you have that, uh, you have three of them and can defend each other against the NPCs. Z1, the drops are so low to the ground, you're, you, you're probably worried about clipping the plane wing or losing the plane itself in cargo. It was always been uh, stressful with the Z1. Havoc? 
with another one too. They always get flimsy. Bambushka was okay, but but uh, you do end up with uh, cops and stuff or mercenaries. The Cuban was terrible. It was the worst cell mission ever, right Marshall? When you had cops on you, the choppers would not leave you alone. You had to use like uh, if you're selling it by your, you know, not by yourself, but with just two people. You just have to take one plane and and have the shooter with you. It was, so, it was just so annoying. Yeah, cell missions in the air was pointless. It's good they need to do the fixing, which is good. Oh yeah, it, it always sucks when you crash. Oh yeah. Once you lose it, you lose it all. Alright, I see it. Oh, dude, that sucks. Caleb, that sucks. He says one of his friends crashed one of his uh, large warehouses and it was double money by accident. Dude, that sucks. Oh, yeah. Little FIFA world, how's it going? From New York City. Oh, did you hear about what happened in New York, man? About that earthquake? Yeah, man, they had an earthquake. Uh, not in New York City, like uh, somewhere in the uh, northwest of New York, upstate, somewhere in the west side. Yeah, it was a 4.5 magnitude earthquake, and it shook and it traveled from New York to Jersey to Philly. Yeah, man. It's crazy, dude. Yeah, they had a little bit of an earthquake, man. Yeah. And most of my um, accounts at work, I was calling people from New York, you know, for you know, from New York, Jersey, Philly, to get their orders, you know, and and they're all talking about it. They were asking me, did I feel it? And I'm like, well, I'm in North Carolina. I I heard it in the news, so you guys are right though? And they're like, yeah, man. I was sleeping and uh, they were telling me their story and I was like, dude, that is crazy, man. And he's like, yeah, I didn't even feel it or nothing. I was just, I was told about it. And I'm like, man, that's crazy. I'm just trying to like find another spot easy. Easy way to get over the mountain. Okay, that's a bad idea. Alright, change my, my tactics. I'm gonna have to go further to the this time, but I don't want to overshoot it. Am 
nine minutes and counting. Go this way. Bad choice of words. Go this way. Make a cut. After I'm done with the hanger sale, I'm gonna do it again, refill it. Mm hmm Do you have anything to sell, Marshall? Those sales? I can help you if you want if you want to get those out of the way. Okay. A little bit in your mouth. I'm gonna check out my other MC, my other businesses in MC, see if any of those other ones are empty so I can sell those too. Cause you know, every time I go to a stash house, man, I always seem to, you know, get something I forgot. Like what I have in there, you know? <laughs> it always throws me off, man. It always happens. Alright. I am good to go. I'm gonna get out of this area. Now I'm gonna fill it up again. Dude, that chopper almost landed right on top of me. Alright, two million five hundred and something. Good. Making 115,000 in the nightclub because I don't have it full. Oh, got hit by a car. Easy money. Alright, mutt. Yep, I should have bought supplies for my um, acid. Oops. Oh man, let's see what we got. We're doing narcotics again. Like Mr. Mackey says, Drugs are bad, okay? Drugs are bad. Okay. Alright. Let's go to the deal. Going to the deal. The next Resident Evil game that's getting remade is confirmed that it's going to be Cold Veronica.
Yeah, it's a, uh, originally it was a Dreamcast game, then they remade it to a PS2 game called Veronica X, with some added features to it, right? And, um, it's a hard game, Cold Veronica, because when it was on Dreamcast, dude, oh my god, dude, it was tough. But when they redid it for the PS2 version, it was a little bit easier, in a way. I beat the PS2 version, but I couldn't beat the Dreamcast version. I know, it's weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's weird. It, it, it's, I don't know why, but, but the Dreamcast version was weird with the controller, right? I wasn't really used to it, you know? Because the left stick and everything was above the controller. And then the, the right stick was, you know, like how it is with the PS4 controller and the 5s and stuff. And, the, you know, the 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s and 5s, you know how it is. You know, like right there, like close together. Yeah, the Dreamcast was weird. It was a little odd, you know. But, um, yeah, man. It's, it was a weird little situation. It was really weird. Yeah. But the game was great. It was really, really entertaining. But yeah, they're remastering that. Well, remaking it. Like it is how they did with 2, 3, and 4. So... I really wish they remastered, not remastered, remade part one. I would do a stream part one, part two, part three, part four, and all the other Resident Evil games that's out there. Make it into a series. Yeah, man. Mm hmm. And like I said to you guys yesterday, you know, with all the wallpapers I had on my phone, my other phone. Yep. I got them all planned out and picked out. Too bad. Too bad. Still sad. Still fun bund. Ha ha ha. Just making Kessler, you know, be like, yeah, your phone sucks. It was, it was doomed. <laughs> Doomed, I tell you. Hmm. Yeah. Be right back, man. I'm gonna eat some of my my food. All right. Well, I'm still playing. It's just uh, I'm gonna be muted for a minute. This motherfucker, he keeps a low profile, even though he designed half the fucking apps on your damn phone. You know, social media, video sharing, photo sharing, messaging, you name it. This dude wrote it. And get this. As of tomorrow, he's gonna push what looks like a routine security update. But really, it's a back door so he can sell all your data to the highest bidder. Fucking son of a bitch. He don't care how many people he bankrupts, long as his fucking ass is sitting at the beach and the game is next to ten figures in his fucking bank account. He got every crooked investor with an internet connection looking to buy his stocks once the update hits. But check this out, one of our investors had an even better idea, and he came to me with it. He's gonna bet against the stock. Then we take this bitch down. Our client cashes out, and we make bank. We just got intel that the target is fucked up right now in some charity event. And fired his driver for the fucking tenth time. And he just ordered a cab. But I got Imani to cancel that motherfucker. Dude should be right outside.
Okay, drive careful. You ready? Okay. We're trying to stay one step ahead of some rival smugglers in the air.
I'm eating sushi, more uh, Custer sushi. Mm. Oh God! Speaking of PC <laughs> updates, my my <laughs> laptop too. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, might as well get them all out of the way at least. Oh my god. <laughs> So, how was your gym? Yeah, gym. Gym? How about, how about... Thanos? <laughs> yeah, we're in an open friend. Yeah, we're in an open front lobby. I got two more pieces left of my sushi. I'll be right back. Dude. <laughs> no, you didn't. You came right by me. Oh. Uh, yeah, you came right by me. I didn't hear nothing, but it felt like a whoosh. No, I was in process of being full, but. 
It's not there yet. I, I just sold my hangar. I'm rebuilding it again. Yep. Take my time with the hangar, just fill up as much as I can. Big summer update coming out though for GTA, don't know what it is, and change, I hope so too, changes to GTA Plus, yeah. Uh, yeah, changes GTA Plus, uh, new features, new big update, I don't know. I'll believe it when I see it. I won't trust. Hey yo, everybody, Miss Boss for the win here. In today's GTA 5 video, we're gonna be talking about big changes for 20 minutes. And then nothing, nothing, you know? I just clickbaited you, Mr. Boss for the win. I'd be like, fuck those guys, man. Them nine sacks of shit. I'm gonna watch someone else that does GTA, won't do any bullshit. I'm gonna go see Marshall and Python. Yeah, there we go. Marshall's on and I'm on. Are you guys one of those guys that clickbait people? Marshall goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, god damn. Alright. Watch where you want me. Drugs are bad, okay? <laughs> Shit was funny with Andy. Yo, do you... Oh my god, that's still funny. Young man! Young man! You, you were not in on this! Uh, I'll take 25% on these heists. I, I'm sure people ask me how do I feel about heist in general and I'm like well it did yeah I mean it did get me to where I needed but businesses did the, did the rest of the work yep I mean out of all the heists that's been there. Yeah. Where's that piece of paper at? I'm trying to look for it. Yeah, payout ain't that good anyway. It was in the beginning, but not anymore. Yep. Oh, I think I see it. I'm in a stash house. I'm trying to find the the paper. Oh, there it is. One twenty three forty five. Okay. Yeah, I only do it for a reason. Hey, Moni, what's up? Oh, the sushi, the sushi I had, uh, Custer and Marshall it was uh. 
California roll and dragon roll. Very good. I was going. Nom 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 nom. Yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, I was going like this. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Ooh, weapon supplies. Yes. Yes, perfectly, perfectly good. I stash my weapons. Do you want a balloon there, Jordy? Cookie Monster? Yeah, I want Cookie Monster on my sushi. I want nom 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 nom. Oh <laughs> God. Oh shit. It was really good, though. Mm. Yep, sushi monster. I want sushi monster on the sushi. Yes. I'm gonna be watching Godzilla tomorrow. Marshall's dying to. Tell me what I tell me what I think of it. I know he is. It's itching. Marsh is so quiet right now. He's like this. Damn it, Python. Hurry the hell up and watch Godzilla. Damn it. I want to talk about it. Like today, Junior. Today. No, no. That's when uh, Marsh goes, young man. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> 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 Mm, my God. Really, a uh, sushi place near your place of where you live? Moni, you want to try it? Oh, dude, I would definitely try it. Don't always be scared to try new things. For me... I'll try a place like once if I like it I'll go back if I don't like it I never go back again unless it was like a you know a bad experience with uh, you know during the day or during the night you know change it up you know maybe give it another shot but yeah Me? I'm gonna go to coke I mean, is that what you want to do Guess what? I don't give a shit. Your business is not hurting me anyway. You only made $300 in a month. You're not worthy. Yeah, I had a, uh, someone wanted to become one today. You know, set up an account, and uh, yeah, and I said, okay, uh, what kind of business are you? You know, um, yeah, not like Walking Dead questions, but I asked him uh, what what kind of business he he is. He's like really, really seasonal, like at least three months out of the year. I said to myself, okay, uh, what kind of area are you in, right? He's somewhere in Canada, and usually they get their freight by air. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> by chance, you know of someone named Seabro? They call him the fox, or another term, drunk? He'll probably be like, Oh, I know that boy named Seabro, eh? He's always needing Canadian bacon, that sick son of a bitch. 
He's always drinking and says he's not drunk. I know who you're talking about. What a young lad he is. <laughs> All right. I only do it for twenty five percent. Then I'm I'm not gonna join the heist. <laughs> not be like, oh yeah, leave, leave the heist, leave, go ahead and leave, go. Don't you come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He asked you, uh, who was it? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah it was a, on my channel, right? Yeah, some random viewer asked uh, Kesari if he can have all the money. He says, what was your reaction, Kesari? I'll, I'll give you 25%. <laughs> no, right, there it is. <laughs> you're lucky you're getting something. 15%, damn, dude. Uh, those were the days, man. I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, hey, partner. All right, see you. Let me make a few calls. Done. You're doing it now? Okay, okay. Oh. Uh, the, the wheel. All right. Hey, I will give you this target's name. <laughs> oh man. Do you guys watch the video on videos on YouTube about uh, Family Feud? Funniest. Uh, Answers given by contestants to uh, Steve Harvey, and some of them cause um, marriage uh, disputes too, like divorces and stuff. Dude, I, I mean, I'm like, whoa. One of the questions were fill in a blank or something, and uh, what do you want to see from a guy, right? And uh, one girl goes, his, bam, right? And uh, and then of course, Steve Harvey goes, this is a family show. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, uh oh. Yeah. I'm like, my God, man. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny. Uh, Moni's like, I'm kind of happy you're on GTA today. I don't want, want to hear them pirate songs. That would be stuck in my head. <laughs> Bully in the alley. You <laughs> <laughs> or... Uh, Put him in the brick till he's sober. Put him in the brick till he is sober. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. And then here's my favorite song. <clears throat> Guys are okay. Driving cyberpunk. He's slamming. He's killing. He's killing people in cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm playing. She's like, no, it caps, dude. That's so funny. Sorry, buddy. I, 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 you know what I mean. Yeah, there you go. Man. I mean, I'm giving Skull and Bones a break. I'll be on it tomorrow when I get home from the movies. Watch Godzilla versus Kong. Me? I really want to see Godzilla minus one though. That's what I want to see. 
I wonder if I can get it on Amazon if once the DVD gets you were. Didn't Deep see it? Okay, that's that's right, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it on DVD so I can watch it twenty thousand times. Shin, I, dude, I have not watched Shin, so don't say nothing. I never watched Shin yet. I know his arms are fucking weird, but that's it. All right, cool. Well, he said fuck up, and then he said sad. Which one is it? Fuck up side or, or <laughs> both? No, man. Right, like the the grim version of the okay. Right. Yeah, don't spoil it for me, man. It's like that one time when uh, you said to me, "Hey, Python, did you watch The Walking Dead where Lori dies?" And I'll be like. God damn it, man! How did you watch that part yet? What's wrong with you? You, f you damn mean son of a bitch! He? I'm kidding. I know about that part. I know. I was just being funny. Very stupid, but you know what I mean. All right. <clears throat> Remember that one time I was driving the Fagio in a game in GTA that was Pee Wee Herman? <laughs> yeah, I was honking in game chat going, Arr! <laughs> Arr! <laughs> Man, it was. Oh, guys, there's a business battle here. I'm not doing it though, I just wanted to tell you guys it's weapons. Challenges. Participate in club work. Modify vehicle in my arena. Participate in a head-to-head -head LS car meet. Hey, you remember that one time when the car meet uh, the LS Carmi came out. I uh, had my character look like Paul Walker from Fast and the Furious. I'm like, yo, let's race. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> very stupid. Man. I was very stupid in that part going. <laughs> Yo, man, that car right there is gonna probably pull a big old 180, so we're gonna have to pull something out of our asses. And I do mean tricks, not take a dumb in our hands, you know? <laughs> what? <laughs> Kesser, man! That was supposed to be a secret, man! Now the world knows it. I'm kidding. Um, between, well, I was a Twitch streamer, Caleb. I'm actually an affiliate. I, I, I was, I'm an affiliate on Twitch. When I got my affiliation in, on Twitch in 2016, I was still doing YouTube. I left YouTube for Twitch. But the thing is, my job now pays me a lot better than, than Twitch ever did. Now, if let's say the situation was different where 
I got partnered on YouTube. I would still pick my real life job over YouTube anyway. Because I would still do like say streaming on the side anyway after work or whatever. I get paid a lot more at my job than I did with any other situation, Twitch, but if I get partnered by YouTube, I'll still be working anyway. Now if you ask me if I played the lottery and won, what would I do? Oh fuck, I'll quit my job in a heartbeat and uh, do nothing but gaming, I'll buy me a house. I'll buy me a house and I'll have defense systems around the house like a landmines, automated turrets because uh, I don't want my sister and all anywhere near me. Right guys? <laughs> yeah, 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 no. Why are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, that crazy ass bitch, one eye, <laughs> God, dude, she, she is, he's a cyclops, <laughs> God, well, she was pretty stupid, though, I mean, what she, what she tried to do to get her son in trouble, that's pretty heart, heartless, you know, cold. My sister-in-law, yeah, she's pretty bad. Caleb, you have no idea. Um, yeah, my benefits and uh, everything with my job is really good. Really, really good. Hey, I told you guys about uh, the accounting from yesterday. Code calling every every period towards the end last two weeks they haven't said nothing yet man I have a feeling they will I'm not jinxing myself man I know it's a reality <laughs> you know it's a reality God Well, next week I'll work five days, and then the week after I only work four. I'm taking Friday 19th off, and Monday off. Go back Tuesday. <sighs> yep. <clears throat> Well, not this, not this person, um, Caleb. My, um, sister-in-law, dude. What she did and who she is. What she does to her own family and others, yeah. Let's just say, let's just say, uh... You want to make sure she doesn't even exist in your life, really. Even though she does, but... You want nothing to do with them. Uh, don't be sorry, Caleb. Don't be sorry, dude. All good. Some people can't be helped. So. You found it? It's something strange in the neighborhood. Who are you gonna call?
<laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> Man. You, dude. I didn't tell you this, but when I was on vacation, like, a couple months back, remember when I took, like, a week off? Um, I was craving chocolate milkshakes, dude, for a week. <laughs> yeah, from... Uh, from um, Chick-fil-A or McDonald's you know I was just like every single day I was getting me a milkshake every single day for a week Rebecca goes just a milkshake I'm like yep she's like why I'm like I don't know but I'm craving milkshakes it feel uh, it felt it felt like like uh I was in Men in Black Part 3 when Will Smith had a uh, a crazy event. Yeah, a chocolate, fe uh, chocolate fetish when uh, something happened to his partner, Tommy Lee Jones. Uh, you almost built a skylift? Oh my god. Ooh. Moni, you all right? Moni just bumped her head on her bumpy headboard. Ugh. Don't feel bad. One time I was getting groceries out of my um, SUV and Rebecca closed the hood on my uh, on me t twice. She hit me on my head and then she hit me in the shoulder. I got a bruise and I even got a scar because I started bleeding. Uh, I think she, yeah, yeah, and get this, it was two different days, yeah, it's a sign, Rebe I don't know if Rebecca's trying to kill me, and then when we put some stuff in the back, I'm like, right, babe, don't do anything yet, let me grab the stuff, I'm looking up, going, Okay, she's like, why are you looking at me like that? I'm like, I don't want to get hit in the head again. She's like, well, those two, those two times were an accident. I'm like, uh huh. Okay. And she's like, she's like this, guys. Trust me, if something wanted, if I wanted to do something, you would know it. I'm like, yeah, what's that? I have stomach aches already, so you can't beat it. I have, you know, stomach problems. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I wanted some Taco Bell. Um, yes, Moni brought up a good point. She said, didn't you actually accidentally hit her with the controller? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> But yeah, no, Moni's right. I did hit Rebecca in a head in a with a controller in the face because she snuck up on me when I was playing the game called PT. There's a big difference. <laughs> PT is a PT is a very very scary game. <laughs> PT was so scary. You can't even find that game anywhere. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the only thing I'll eat in Taco Bell is a five-dollar box and a Mexican pizza, or or chicken quesadilla. That's it. But yeah, other than oh yeah, they always yeah. I mean, Taco Bell always gives people the shits, and we're just talking about it too. Caleb is saying, uh, "Yeah, you're gonna go to the bathroom," and even Moni goes, "Black Taco Bell." No, that's true. <laughs> white people, white people version of Mexican food. Wow, that's that is no, it is true. No, it's true. Hey, uh, Kester, how about this idea? 
It's not really an idea, it's a fact. Kesser, I got something you don't like at all. Moni, I got something you don't like either, and you guys are in sync together. Pistachio ice cream, oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Kessler's like, Ew, get that shit out of the freezer and put it in the garbage. Light this shit on fire. Yeah, I got pistachio ice cream. I'm gonna eat some of that later. Kessler, Moni says rocks <laughs> in the beginning. Not yet, but... But with Kessler's sake, you know, he wants to, uh, he wants, you know, you know, for a fact, I'm going to have to arm myself with rocks. He'd probably be like, that's it, Python, I'm coming over to your house and get rid of that pistachio ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I can help you. I was just uh, doing a quick um, payphone hit. Yeah, but I'll help you. Kessler loves pistachio ice cream. And he loves pistachios. <laughs> you just hate it because it's green, that's all you hater. <laughs> oh man. Uh. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> That's disgusting, dude. Uh. Uh. Caleb says, uh, Taco Bell is a real authentic Mexican food. LOL. Why is this guy not coming to the car? Why is this guy not coming in the car? Hold up. Maybe this car's in the way? I don't know. Me? I did! A couple of times. If he doesn't come to me, I'm gonna try to push him over to the gas station by car. No, I mean, I honked the car at him a couple of times. Yeah, I know, and I got mugged. They so me. Look at this guy, he's walking away from me. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give him a nice, nice little push. I never seen him walk away from me. Ever. Well, I'm, well, I'm gonna take him over there, but damn it, man, you gotta call mercenaries on me? Yeah, that's what it says on my end.
Ugh, this shit is annoying. This is the second time I glitched today. Well, guess what? There we go. I solved it. Hey. Almost. She's annoying, man. You know, just so you know, man, if your car gets dis ruined because of the car I'm in, that's on you. There we go, I just got finished, but for 15 grand. San Francisco, the game. Five star Uber service. <laughs> yeah, I honked the horn. He should have came into the vehicle with no problems. That had nothing to do. He, he had nothing to do. You know, that had nothing to do with it. Though, you know? Oh, God. Whoops. What? Why <laughs> 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 <One> no <old> forever? <laughs> we should do we should do uh, death mask modes after this. After the cars and stuff. That's not fun. <laughs> Kill Kessler. Kill Kessler, Moni. You told me to do it. Just kidding. She didn't. <laughs> uh. Gotta find another vehicle now. Is that Chopper still alive, Caster? <laughs> I was shooting at him. No, you don't talk to the guy first. You honk it's for him to come in. And by, by the way, uh, Kessler, Moni says, "Wait a minute! I never said that." Python. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, that's funny. What's Okami up to? Oh, okay. 
calling a meeting? Oh, okay. Uh, that's because uh, when you're going uh, buzzer, when you're running to it, I was shooting at it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm done. I'm in. Me? Oh God. There we go. <laughs> right in front of the salvage yard entrance. God. All right, I'm joining. This is a nice looking salvage yard there, Kessler. Look at this Ghostbusters vehicle. Yep. Yep. I... I think... Marshall is, uh... Not in a headset. He's in that TikTok thing with Okami. Yeah, we can sell these two and then uh, you can sell w one by yourself, I guess. Well, we can only sell two, and then you have to come back and sell the last one. Yeah, that's the only way we can do it. You want to sell this uh, red one last and sell these two crappy ones now? Yep. I got it. I'll go ahead of you, I guess. This thing is very, very flimsy. Burnt air. Yeah. The car I'm in right now, man, will spin out. Oh, I am. Yep, it will freak out for no reason. Yep. Or it'll spin out of control. I'm driving carefully. All right, Toretto.
I made it. Dude. We made it. Come on, Yuri. Stop calling me. <laughs> I know what you're trying to do, you son of a bitch. You try to kill me. No. Uh. Alright. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it should be. I gotta call Mutt too. Oh, shit. I gotta follow the Titan. Oh yeah, I do. Hope everything's alright with uh, Okami. I don't know. I asked myself that same question, like, how the hell did this vehicle get, has more money than anybody else? Man? That makes no sense. Hey, uh, I tried to play a trick on Rebecca, uh, today, earlier, uh, we were talking about, you know, test pilots, you know, like in all areas, NASA, military, and all that, and I'm like, yeah, um, Armstrong was a test pilot, cause, you know, he had to do the lunar, landing and uh, on earth you know the the module make sure it works had a close yeah right 
Yeah, and he was Neil Armstrong. He really was. He was a daredevil. Um, so I was like, yeah, he did that. He came close to dying twice. And she's like, yeah. And then we were watching this air disaster thing on um, on the History Channel, and um, it's a good it's a good program. It really is. And um, and uh, and then I go, yep. I said, yeah, Lance Armstrong. And she's like, you mean Neil? I'm like, yep. I tried to trick you. She's like, no, you didn't. You're just being stupid. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and then, and then I go, yeah, and then he got Buzz Lightyear, and then she's like, Buzz Aldrin, I'm like, yeah, Buzz Lightyear, and then she's like, yeah, Buzz, that was, Buzz Lightyear was named afterwards because of him. Buzz Lightyear, to infinity and beyond. Alright. Yep, I'm redoing it. Yeah, again. I'd rather do the hangar than the five large warehouses. I know it. Five days. <laughs> right. Seventeen point three. Nice. At least you're getting your money back. You're not struggling. Yeah, you're just getting all the research done. Yeah. Yeah. The fun of the grind. Just keep going. Good though, like other than promoting a person to lieutenant. Okami and himself is alright though. That's good. Alright. Go destroy Kester's acid. Alright, Roger that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll dress up as Pennywise, get my clown van out, and follow you everywhere. <laughs> ten, ten drops. Mm. Yeah. Remember that one time I was following random players around the city in a clown van? That's Pennywise? I took that one kid to the sewers. <laughs> I, I dropped him off and I took off and he's like, wait, come back. And I'm like, I go, I'm going to bring you a friend. And he started running. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, Marshall, tell Kessler what GTA Rockstar did in both Red Dead and GTA. About griefing.
Yeah, basically trying to, uh, yeah, be in that harsh um, developer environment, you know? I yeah. Separating the, yeah. Well, the thing is, though, too, between GTA 5, you know, how long he's been out for, and the length of the... Yeah. Yeah. It would have done it not on day one. It would have done it after year one, you know, of the first year. But GTA 6 though, Marshall and I came to a conclusion, including Caleb, that it's going to be a slow process like it did with, with GTA 5 in the beginning. It's going to take its time for all the updates to come out, you know? Little by little. Am I flying a bee? Uh, no, this is actually a real-life plane. It's actually the F-22 Raptor. Yeah, they did lose a F-22 Raptor in real life where... Um, he... He, he uh... It was a malfunction on a plane, he had to eject, like... 15 feet off the ground. Yep. It's a billion dollar plane in reality. It's insane. Who knows? Yeah, it does look like a bug, but it does hover in real life. How you like seeing these shores? <laughs> did you hear me come by? <laughs> you did? Oh, come on. I wanted to scare you. I'd like zoom in like on you like I do with players I get when I'm in the Akula giving a, a <laughs> Come close to you again? Oh god. <laughs> uh, you know what would be really cool to see? Um, deathmatch, uh, vehicle deathmatches with Raiju's. What do you think that, you think that, will, that can happen? We should, we should do it. I'm just saying, we should do it with Raiju's. Everybody in stealth mode and, uh, you know, like, that would be really cool to do. 
Hey Marshall, you should make one. I'm just saying, and then I can bookmark it. Caster can bookmark it. You know, it'll be unique and fun. I think. Caster goes, do that again. Come closer. See what happens. I'm like, damn, dude. I wasn't even trying to kill you. <laughs> oh, cargo ship. That one is a good one. Uh, in about 45 minutes or so, my bunker will be ready to go. Man, that's me, man. Why do you die, man? <laughs> you know how, uh, you know what SeaWorld would be like? He'd be like this. Nyam, 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 nyam. <laughs> yeah, man. What's that? Oh yeah, living quarters, so oh, yeah. It's crazy, dude. The whole time, you did not have the, hanging, the living quarters in the hangar and you couldn't even upgrade it, the Avenger. And that was driving you nuts for like a month. At least a month. Hey, uh, Marshall. Nitrix and Gilly Master. It'll be funny to see them two guys, uh... Banned on Rockstar Games from GTA 5 because they're kind of like griefers too, right? In a way. Oh God. Crazy. He hates Minecraft. Oh, I heard that, uh, Warzone, Modern Warfare uh, 3, Warzone, the next season has Cheech and Chong as a skin. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's really funny. Oh, I know. I've I seen it live on, um, on someone's channel. You got blasted by Godzilla. Was it because he was a a kill streak, or or was it just a random thing? Oh. Oh my God. And that means do you have to like it could be any weapon, or it has to be a specific weapon like RPG. Any weapon, okay. What if you kill him inside the building? Can he still kill you? If you're in the building? Mm.
Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna play the story mode of GTA 6 100%. I'm gonna have to turn off my music though for that because of copyright in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. True. Mm -hmm. Nice. Almost 20 mil, man. You almost got 20 mil. Some kid, some somebody asked if he can join my party earlier. No, I never had a chance, which I never replied. But with that being said, um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna reply to that. Mm-hmm. Let me join your party chat. <laughs> All right, my ass is full. I gotta sell it too. Damn it. Well, I got 10 drops too, man. I got newspapers, guys. Damn it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna see if I can pick up an in internal hard drive or external and then uh, get Battlefield 2042 back on there and stuff give the game a shot <laughs> again yeah yeah been a couple of years yeah but I'm so I'm so behind in the rank though that's a problem no 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 true yeah but I like Battlefield 5 better though that's just me bum 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 I wish it was a Bad Company 3, man. Oh, man, I love Bad Company. Yo, yeah, oh, dude, more than that. It's total chaos. <laughs> Especially <laughs> with, uh, with Haggard, man. <laughs> My, I got a girlfriend, she looks like a can dog food. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh Sarge giving the signals to the group and then um uh the two guys go did you do something Sarge yeah did you do something Sarge this means stuck up this means shut up if you talk again I'm gonna punch you in the mouth <laughs> and I'm like oh god alright take out that door and then they threw 
uh, Hager throws a grenade or two grenades. The other guys are firing. Then Hager shoots, shoots his uh, M60 and causes an alarm go off. And then next thing you know, uh, the guy you play as goes, uh, should I still be, should I, should I stock up or what, Sarge? Sarge looks at him and goes, don't you fuck with me, man, I swear. Uh-oh. You all right, Moni? She broke a glass by accident. What kind of glass? Like a drinking glass? Oh, ow. Well, yeah, man, it's crazy. Bad Company was a good game. Part 2, they, uh... They took away a lot of funny things from Haggard. He said that he was a little bit too, uh, too, um, over the top, you know, like, very offensive. Yeah. That's the thing about people, man. Like, they always bitching about something. Bunch of crybabies, like you said, you know, that like can, uh, GTA or Destiny or Red Dead or something, you know what I mean? They whine and they cry about it. It's, it's insane. Oh, it was a glass, uh, Moni. Damn. You are right? You didn't cut yourself, did you? Chester, why are you breathing so hard, dude? What? You're an ass. <laughs> oh, okay. What's he playing on Twitch? I saw I got the notification too, but Dude He's playing H one Z one that game? I haven't played that game. In years, it was... It sucked in the beginning. It didn't really have a lot to do. That game lost me... After a month or two after it's been out, because it was like really nothing. Yeah. I really wish they added zombies in there, at least with people, and that way you have fun. But that game is really, really bad. You know, it's boring to me. By the broken glass, so oh, damn. Be careful, Moni.
How's the remaster of Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2? Playable? Just a bit... Oh, okay. I might pick it up, I don't know. Yeah, I might pick it up. I'm not sure yet. Right. Uh oh. For the last four days, guys, I got Ewok, except for tonight. <laughs> oh, man, it was something. It was pretty busy. Like, the last 30 minutes of my shift, I didn't get off to, like, 7.05. That was stuck on a call. What's wrong, Kessler? What's so funny, man? Wait, what? Airman, what? Oh my god. I remember one time with Airman playing Crash Bandicoot 1. That one level he was on. Oh my god. He, he had what, like 40 something lives and lost them all? Then I was playing Crash Bandicoot and uh, I got it out of that way as well. You know, I, was, I had like over 50 lives and I passed. And I think Airman goes, what the hell? How'd you get past that shit so easily? I'm like, patience. He's like, fuck that. <laughs> I'm like, that's all right, everybody. I know what you mean. I'm like, I know exactly what you mean. I'll be like, pretty pissed off about it too, you know? Um, an ice cream that I don't like, well, I don't like strawberry that much. But everything else is pretty good. No, I'm just kidding. I like I like strawberry. I don't know. I'm not really picky on ice cream. Pistachio is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to make a uh, Kessler go 
all on a pistachio rant. <laughs> Uh, bunch of pistachio haters. <laughs> Green tea ice cream? I never heard of that. Oh, God. Man, you and... You and Kessermoni are pistachio haters. How could you? <laughs> Damn. I'm gonna have to get the money out of the safe in the agency now. There we go. Got it. Uh, no, Marsha is doing a cargo ship heist. Yeah, he's doing a cargo ship heist. He's almost done, yeah. Your grandma likes pistachio ice cream you tried it twice you didn't like it I mean it is a taste that you've got to get used to <laughs> yawning Lifestyle management, how can I help you? Thank you, sir. Your specialist vehicle is now ready for you at our nearest pickup station. No! <laughs> you knew that was me? <laughs> it's gotta be me. <laughs> <laughs> a PC NBC excited, there we go. that was fun. Uh that was funny. <laughs> You're about to say Python, Python! There's a clown van around the city, and I just screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> well, my plan backfired. Back to the drawing board. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Oh god. Uh, that was funny. Back to your drawing board again. I saw we were in that one time that one random player was doing a haulage. Kessler over here grabs his vigilante and pushes him into the water. Wasn't that haulage, uh, Kessler, or what? Yeah, you went to your vigilante, right? And you push him into the water. Yeah? You and I were driving side by side. I was in my weaponized Tampa. You were in your vigilante. You ran into the gas tanks. That shit was funny as hell. You just scraped up gas tanks, that's all you did, and it still blew you up. Vagos. Um, gotta go this way then. Guys, you're breathing kind of hard, man. You focused? Same nightclub as mine. <laughs> no, no. I know. I was just being funny. Oh, God. <laughs> I heard, I heard in Elden Ring, it's easier to jump over attacks when they're like swinging the sword at you from below. You just jump and still roll. Right. The panicking now is exciting. Yeah, you panic sometimes in uh, in every game you panic. Oh god. Well, I'm just trying to get everything in Skull and Bones, but I think I'm doing Helldivers too, though, at the same time, but yeah, because I'm trying to get everything in um, Skull and Bones, but I'm also trying to unlock everything in Helldivers too as well. I think I can just, just, you know, play casual games so I go to the next game.
I heard confirmed that it's going to be Cole Veronica Resident Evil remake. <laughs> yeah, Kessler is always in focus mode. I mean, it's pretty scary. Yeah! Yeah! Well, no, not just Elden Ring. Other games, too, when there's, like, open world. You know? You're like... Yeah, your eyes, man, even though, even though you got those black smudges, dude, your pupils light up, man. You look at the Terminator, but that, without red, it's white. Yeah, yeah, you're like, you know, your pupils turn white, you know, it glows. You, I almost mistake you to, into a damn angel or something, like in Supernatural, Kappa. I'm like, holy shit, I gotta call Sam and Dean. Give them a case so they can go hunt. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 telemarketer calls and, uh... <clears throat> this is Dean! Hi, Dean, so-and-so. Oh, hey! Let me get my brother Sam, hold on. We're hunting. <laughs> Sam! What is it, Dean? It's Bob! Is that Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> cough, the rocks cough. And the rock monster was hilarious. He was so angry. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. The most funny part was stacking rocks in Valhalla. This is Kester, guys. Alright, I'm gonna stack these rocks up. I got it! And then the wind pushes the shit over. What the fuck, man? <laughs> oh, you were so... So mad. <laughs> Oh man. What do you mean, nothing to do? Like, GTA, nothing to do? Or. Oh. I mean. Yeah, you could do hangar if you want. True. Um, <clears throat> let me buy bunker supplies, and uh, my um bunker is not ready to sell yet. I guess we can do some. Uh, I guess we can do some death matches or whatever. Have fun killing each other. Hey, Marsha, you want to kill each other? <laughs> I mean, okay. I guess we can do those Halloween modes in the dark or something. You know what I'm talking about? I'm telling you, man, I'm so rusty and doing death matches. Yeah. I'm gonna say I made my money back already from buying the gauntlet interceptor.
Oh yeah. Yep. Hey, do you think uh, Disney should make a series of Darth Vader? Wait, wait, repeat that. You, it sounded like you were constipated when you said it. You're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. I swear to God. <laughs> uh, yeah. God. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> Mommy goes, ew. Wow, possible is in our lobby. Haven't seen that man forever. Very long while. Yeah, twenty three forty two, a hundred and nine ahead of me. Yeah. <clears throat> Should I get my um uh <laughs> my um gooch outfit on Kiflon Go gooch for Weasel News <laughs> this excuse me sir sir how does it feel to be a rank a thousand and there you have it he is very happy and, and this is gooch on Weasel News <laughs> uh Man. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Colonel Damage is on. Caster's in the lead. How can I help? Your beautiful new aircraft is waiting at our nearest airfield. We hope you're very happy, sir. Sorry, Caster, beat you. <laughs> Being funny. I remember that one time that one random kid goes, "Oh my God, look! I got the highest jump, 500 feet!" And then I and I grab, grab my scramjet and uh, I launched myself up, and then I, you know, turboed myself all the way up. I had like 2,000 feet, 3,000 feet, and the kid that was in first place. Messages me on the phone, calls me a cheater, and then I responded back to him and say, Scramjet, get one. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> Help you <laughs> with your boredom. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm... This game can get tiring. I know. Professional is live right now playing Red Dead. Hello you two, welcome back to the Professional here, and I'm playing some Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> oh, I gotta buy more supplies, goddammit. Oops. Well, the good news is, uh, I think my bunker will be ready in about 20 minutes, but I have to buy, yeah, I can sell, you know, once I, I'll sell it and then, <sighs> and then we can probably do some deathmatch modes or something. I'm kind of bored too. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm pretty bored too, man. You're not alone. That's why that's why I'm playing Skull and Bones as a a grind, it's something to work with. And I got the mortar of the Le Flu, which is a gas mortar. It's basically the pest gas. I'm just doing payphone hits, man. Hey, look, today's target is a cautionary tale, homie. Hey, didn't uh, Possible left, leave our groups on his own? I remember he left mine. I don't, wasn't sure if he left yours, Marshall. He did? Okay. <laughs> I'm just doing payphone hits, man. I'm just waiting for um, my supplies. No, I had to buy supplies for my bunker. Yeah. Is your popularity up? For your okay. What brings you in today? I just find it kind of funny that possible to join our game. joined our session and stuff they even message you or me saying what's up you know I'm not gonna bother you know yep I still remember the time GTA dude uh Okay. You roleplay your death. GTA dude dies. 
He gets killed by the airstrike by Custer throwing the flare. And then two seconds later, GTA dude started growling going. <laughs> yeah. He was such a waste of space. He really was. That's role play. Python, what are you doing? Making money. I'm resupplying my bunker. What are you doing? I'm just following you. I'm like, well, um, go over there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I um uh, I don't even know if you remember this, but I had to buy supplies for my bunker. I have to go check though. I know you are. If you want, I can hire you. You can help me with my hangar if you want. <laughs> Mickey Mouse, no. It, it was a kid. It was a kid that we know that had the squeaky voice. His name is GTA, dude. And he actually talked like that. He's like, What are you guys doing? <clears throat> It was funny. I mean, if you guys want, we can do some death matches right now, but I don't know if my bunk will be full by then. Alright. Yeah, we'll do it. You want me to start one up, uh, Marshall, or...? Yeah, yeah, let's do the one with the muskets, yeah. Free for all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm gonna head straight to my bunker for a second, though. See if the supplies come came in or not. I'm gonna change my spawn location though to my bunker. <laughs> Dude, you were really, really mad that day. My God. I got your invite, give me a second, I'm going into the uh, bunker. God. Alright. Supplies are not in yet, but I'll join you. Alright, let's kill each other. Why not? Five minutes? <laughs> we should do an all out war for ten. <laughs> uh, no kill limit. 
Yeah, no kill limit. It's just the time limit. Uh, oh man. Let's go. Let's do it. You're going to go down, Kessler. You're going to go down. <laughs> Let's all take down the Slender Man. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> he went slap. <laughs> All of us got a kill. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you scared me, man. Oh. Oh, damn. March is up 3 0 on me. Damn. I'm rusty. Shit. Oh my god. Damn. 
Marshall is mean today, man. Damn. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, God. Oh God! <laughs> uh, I pushed my luck on that. I was hiding in the bushes. <laughs> I, I, yeah. <laughs> I'm hiding in the bushes, that butch. <laughs> ah, he scared me. He scared me. <laughs> he scared me, man. Oh! 
Oh, I did a backflip. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, on your end? Oh god. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, <laughs> I might be rusty, but damn, I had so, so much fun. Let's go to the canals, right here, in the middle. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I should put us in canals, maybe. Can we change the mode though, uh, Marsha, the free-for-all? Top marks. I never done this one. Ah. Are you able to change the type or no? Eh. Um. Hold on. Let me back out. Let's all leave and then uh, I'll check out. Take a look at the bunker. Hold on. Dude, that is so fun, man. Yeah, it was. Oh, if we do matches, dude, uh, I won't get my supplies. Hold on. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'll just keep doing matches, I guess. Hold on. Um, rocks are created. Death matches. All right, I got I got a perfect match. Ace liquor. I'll host it. I'll invite you guys. Hold on. Terrible death match. <laughs> I invited both you guys. Today, guys, today. Uh. You're good with the shotgun, you said? Oh, you're worse? Oh. It's been 84 years, Kessler. It's 
been 84 years, Kessler. Where were you, Kappa? Damn, man. Me too, I feel a little worn out. <sighs> yeah, I think we're probably gonna go in the office in week four, but I don't know. For a uh, rally. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just trying to make a hole in the fence. the boomstick <laughs> hey bud Hey, bud. <laughs> hey, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to go. Hey, boy. <laughs> you know how Jack would say that? Ow, ow, ow. And I'm like, Jack, how's that hurting you? <laughs> Oh my god. 
god. <laughs> You're kind of fuck do I get down from here? Do I jump? Now my ribs hurt. My, my, my ribs really hurt. It's so funny. Cause it went ah. Marshall knows me. He knows. He's like, uh, no, I'm out. He's like, no, <laughs> no, I'm out of here. I'm out. I'm just using a shotgun the whole game and grenades. Hey, bud. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I, I I could but I'm dead. Ribs hurt. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> nice. <coughs> 
<laughs> Cash, you're just chugging grenades, dude. <laughs> Replay? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> you like, fuck that level. You're like, fuck that level. God damn. I love that move. <laughs> um. Trailer park. Lower left. <coughs> <laughs> huh? That was good. All right, let's go to fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. That was just too fun. Cares are going. What? How? He's behind the bushes. <laughs> behind the wall. <laughs> the funny one was this. I kill you killed me and I blew you up. <laughs> he should have known. <laughs> he should have known. Uh, Marshall goes, Hell no, I'm out of here. <laughs> uh There we go. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's funny. Ah! <laughs> I was just looking for a better view. <laughs> Shotgun? No, I'm on fire! <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm just having a cooked snake tonight. Oh, what? Oh, nice kill, dude. Uh. 
<laughs> Peekaboo! I see you! <laughs> you should hear the rage from Kessler. He's like, What? How? <laughs> Your first kill! Your first kill! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kessler loves GTA playing one on one with me. This is funny. <laughs> Damn, gosh, you're so verbal. What the hell? What the? Oh, I didn't even hear it. Uh. <laughs> uh, oh my god, it's so fun. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm on a losing streak. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh man. 
I'm dying. <laughs> well, you did. My pants is so funny. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Uh. <laughs> 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 Why the fuck you not dead? Uh, I was freaking you out, huh? Oh my god. I'm hurting. Uh, I'm hurting. <laughs> God. Oh, nice kill, dude. Uh, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> I got Bob Marshall. <laughs> uh, it's so much fun, man. <laughs> it looks like your character is just standing up, wanting to die. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, fuck off your shit, man. Get that shit out of here. Get your shit out of here. Get it out of here. Get out of my territory. I don't know. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
<laughs> I did die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to pee my pants. Uh, it's so fun. She's so real. <laughs> Catch her so bad. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, the rage. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh, the rage. <laughs> hey, can can I was <laughs> Your stomach hurts. I'm about to pee my pants. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm dying. This is doing hours. You want to do an hour of death match? Uh, <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> oh, 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 God. <coughs> oh, yeah, I won against Kessler and uh, Marshall. Marshall was a uh, calm as hell, but Kessler is going, Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm dying. Oh, my stomach hurts too. <laughs> Alright, Kessler, this should be your match right here. You should be able to win. <laughs> uh, uh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh my god, dude. my stomach hurts <laughs> so bad. Oh, oh god. <laughs> God damn it, dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> my ribs! Stop! Stop! <laughs> I got marshmallow bombed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm hurting. Damn, uh, Damn. Oh, God. <clears throat> I think Kesser learned how to, uh, get a kill, Kappa. <laughs> I want to report him for grieving. <laughs> Oh, that no, dude. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh, this is so funny. Uh, I'm having a good time, are you? <laughs> are you, Marjo? <laughs> I, I, I want my final kill to be Kesser get hit by a bat. Oh, damn. <laughs> nice. 
god. Too many explosions. Oh god, no. Uh, you killed me. <laughs> I don't know how. Yeah. Yeah, I killed you and then you killed me after death, I guess. Uh, I don't know. That was weird. Damn it! <laughs> I was pouring gasoline! <laughs> uh... Damn. Dude. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Me? <laughs> uh, Kappa. You're like, who's laughing now?
Ow! <laughs> Kester's laughing. He's like very quiet too. Going. Finally, I got Python. Eighty-four years. <laughs> That son of a bitch took my kill! Well, your aim is always all over the place. <laughs> you need to calibrate that, Kappa. Mine are just twenty five percent. Twenty five percent. You six foot two slender man. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to let Kesser win one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. Um. Hmm. I got one. How about downtown? Yeah, lower right hand corner. <laughs> Moni says, I can tell he's like that dog that won't stop barking. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, damn, dude. It's so funny. <laughs> Moni says, Go Python. <laughs> <laughs> I almost, I almost choked because you, you made me laugh. Oh, <laughs> uh, 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 damn! <laughs> uh, God. Oh, this is chaotic. I know this. I know this one. Hmm. 
They're they're everywhere. I gotta just find them. There's like nowhere to be found. He's just standing. He's probably somewhere looking down going, Chaos in the streets of Los Santos. Rival gangs at a fight for survival. <laughs> for the f uh, And when them two die, I will take over. Yeah, he did. Thumping. <laughs> I saw Marja running down the street and I just fired. <laughs> I'll make it fair. I use a shitty pistol. <laughs> oh God. 
<laughs> oh god, Marshall is determined to kill me. He's like, oh, not today. Come back here. <laughs> he was a like scorpion too. He was like, get over here. Yeah, I can smell the saw from here, man. <laughs> Oh god. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> Catcher is so mad though. He's like, fucking Christ, man. I hate Python. <laughs> oh, man. Damn. He went, he, he went, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> God. When I told you, Tony, when you fuck with me, you're gonna be, you're gonna pay. <laughs> I was following you. I followed you.
<laughs> Damn, man. So verbal. He's like, how you like that, bitch? You're gonna pay for it. Love you. Like, like, <laughs> we're... <laughs> God. <laughs> Damn. How the fuck do you survive all them shots, dude? <laughs> I know, I had your ass. I had... I had you. Oh, 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 I know, right? I got scared. Marsha was quiet. Marsha was so quiet, too. I'm worried about Kessler though, he's really quiet. Damn! Marsha, where you come from? Marsha scared me, everybody. This is a close match. Oh shit! Tiebreaker. I think. <laughs> yeah, but I got I got a better score. I think. Let's check. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I won. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Um. All right. Legal Eagle. I have no idea what that is. That's first. Oh, you're calling quits, uh, Marshall? Alright, man. I was, I'll be on Skull and Bones tomorrow when I get home from the office. We'll do 10 minutes this time, uh, Kessler. Yep. I don't blame you. <laughs> Marshall, have a good night, man. I'll see ya. Alright. Alright, Kessler. I want to hear you rage for me, man. Rage! <laughs> yeah, but you're making me laugh better. <laughs> Alright. Big, big fighting words! Oh. <sighs> Mine too, man. That's just funny. If I be building, <laughs> remember this in the um, survival. <laughs> You're like, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand it. <laughs> you might have to tickle me and then I'll die or something. I don't know. I'd rather play with fixed weapons than personal weapons. Oh yeah. I love it when people complain, let's use personal weapons, man, these weapons are shit. I'm like, so you suck at uh personal weapons and fixed weapons, okay. Now let's use your fist, I'm like, why? <laughs> Mine too, man. That shit is funny. How much health do you have left? <laughs> <laughs> did you run to the wall face first? How was it? How did it taste? Oh, damn, dude. <laughs> damn. Fight more, man. Shit. I gotta check out my bunker, too. I'm probably gonna have to sell this. Sell it solo. No, I don't know. I'm doing... 
like missions like this, it's a, it'll probably delay, but I'll have to check though. It's trying to find you. Well, I did kind of injured you. <laughs> oh. Where the hell are you, Batman? You better clap your heels and say, uh, there's no place to take home, Wizard of Oz. Come on, we're off to see the wizard and wonderful Wizard of Oz. Now, where are you? Coming over the plan. <laughs> there, there I found him <laughs> God uh, <laughs> the next stop hell Oh that's so mean
are you? <laughs> I won! Yay! I beat Caster again! He shot the bus driver. He's like, bah, 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 bah. and I'm like, alright. And he's like, yeah, I got him! And then boom, he blew up. You want to do trailer park again, Kappa? Just kidding. <laughs> You're like, fuck that shit. Mm. Mine too. Uh. I haven't had that much fun in a while. <laughs> Dude, I I can tell, man. I think your controllers is uh worn out now. Going, damn it! You made me, you made me feel abused. No. <laughs> uh. Um, yeah, there's some deals going on in vehicles, weaponized Tampa, bunkers, 30% off, upgrades 30% off, um, weaponized Tampa is on sale right now, but, yeah, but, yeah, Moni, I might be rusty playing this game for three, four weeks, but I'm, I'm good in death matches. <laughs> You're like this fucking bullshit. Come on. No, it's not. I like having fun. And I got RP. Yeah. Oh, PlayStation Store deals. Oh, okay. Oh, I know. Um, I started out playing death matches, team death matches, vehicle. Oh, Kessler, you know what we should do next time? Vehicle death matches. Vehicle death matches. And a tank, helicopters, jets. We should do that next time. Yeah, we haven't. But you're tired though, dude. You're about to go to sleep on me? Twinkle, twinkle, little star? I don't blame you. Hmm, <laughs> man. Dude. Have you done, have you got, uh, got Rise of Ronin? Not yet. Same, no. I'm gonna wait. Same. Either on sale or something, like, probably spring sale, or maybe, or summer sale. Yeah. 
Yeah, same. Dude, I, I just... I was having way so much fun, man. <laughs> if I had share audio on, Moni would probably be like, Oh my god, Kester is so angry. <laughs> uh... <laughs> god. Yeah, there was a delay, you see? When I'm doing your, the death matches, my supplies never came. Mm hmm. So that's why there's a delay, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna put up the money, though. Made my money back. Yeah, I like having fun with the guys. Was Kess so was Kess as angry when fighting a rock monster or was it worse? Oh, it's a lot worse. Kesser hates me when uh I kill him and he's questioning every single kill every single kill I got on him. He's like behind a wall how the hell do you kill me from underneath the stairs? <laughs> what? <laughs> and then, the funny part was when he, he saw me running at him, he had no idea what I was planning, and then he said, like, got you, and then I blew him up. <laughs> <laughs> you know who hated playing me against one on one? In death matches, uh, Kazer, you know who hated that? Yeah, Jack hated that. I'll be hiding in the bushes, he went past me like four times. <laughs> and I'm like, I see you, Jack! And he's like, don't you fucking do it. Don't you do it. And I'm like, come on, Georgie. Yo, I'm popping out! Yes! And then he's like, where are you? And I'm like, peek <laughs> uh, Which one? Rise of Ronin? Um... Didn't see the co-op gameplay. I saw the... What'd you say? You were yawning. Repeat that. <laughs> Me too. That's what I'm gonna do too. Well, if it does come on sale, if it does come on sale soon, I'll tell you. And uh, I'm probably gonna be at the. I'm probably gonna have that uh, be like Cartman. Be like, yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> Moni says, "Oh God, he sounds scary." When you when you went worse. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh damn dude. Where are your trucks going? Tell me <laughs> I'm Batman. Oh have you seen the uh trailer? Not trailer, but the uh like small little clip pages of the Batman part two. I think later this year, yeah. Sounds about right. Maybe like Sorry, uh Outlaws. Is it on PS5? Crossplay too? Sing uh, I mean, no, 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 I mean like, uh, 
Does it have like multiplayer too right away or is it just single and no. Okay. Uh caster. Caster, caster, caster. Single? Okay, story based only. I don't know, I may get it. Yeah. How, how you never. Wait, 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 wait. You never played a Star Wars game that has Bounty Hunter? Like, not the PS2 title? Star Wars Bounty Hunter? Okay, like, uh, okay, 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 gotcha. Nah. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Demon Slayer? Yeah, I'm a fan on Demon Slayer. I actually watch all the seasons except this for except for the last one. I saw the one where they're in the train trying to fight the train demon or something like that. Whatever it is. Yeah. After, yeah, after the train one, I haven't watched after that. Okay, so I'm behind two seasons, okay. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I know the one sensei... Wait, 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 uh... That one sensei, the guy with the red hair, the fire, I know he died. Yeah, I know he died. The one demon wanted to make him into a demon, but he said nope. Honor. A lot of honor. Oh yeah. Right, right. I don't know, man. The sister that became a demon, she's hot. <laughs> but it's kind of funny, though, how she became a demon, but doesn't devour humans. And then she kept that humanity. She sleeps. That's all she does. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, she is. She really is. That's your next uh, anime? No, I, I know. I, I need to catch up to it. What, Demon, C Demon Slayer? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll probably catch up to it. If not, that's all right. I'm making a, I'm making a, an account with Crunchyroll. No, nah, it's not bad. I'm thinking about cutting cable co uh, together and keep internet. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, I, I, you know, 
I like Attack on Titan, that's good. Have you watched that, Custer? First season? Okay. What do you think of it so far? Very dark. Do you, do you watch it English? Or do you watch it Japanese with uh, English uh, subtitle? <laughs> oh my god. You Hey, this target is one of No oh, man. I... Should I I watch all my um animes like Attack on Titan on Japanese and uh with English subtitles on? Yeah. Uh, I tried Surfshark, but when I tried to watch it with subtitles, it was only in Japanese. Yeah, I mean, I, I can handle that, no problem. But if I'm watching any other anime, like, say, Dragon Ball, for example, is always English all the way through. Um, I can watch Attack on Titan up with both Japanese with English subtitle or just plain English, no subtitle. You own the first two seasons of Attack on Titan. I, I need to. I need to watch season two. Yeah. I like high school. I like high school. The dead though. That anime is really okay. good. Dude, high school, high school, high school of the dead is um, a bunch of teenage kids fighting zombies with like um, with uh, tools they use as weapons from from their school, and then later on get real guns and uh, and uh, you know fight zombies. And the funny thing is, is that is like two guys. And the rest of the survivors are girls, and one adult girl, and, you know. And every time they run, you know, it's like showing their, not showing their boobs or nothing like that, but just cleavage. Yeah, just cleavage and butts, you know, and they, uh, they just run, they, they just run around, and, uh, Rebecca goes, what are you watching, porn? I'm like, no, I'm not watching porn, what are you talking about, I'm watching Attack on, you know, like High School of the Dead and stuff. And she's like, this is stupid. And then when Darren and Tyler were little kids, like teenagers, they were watching it with me. And I'm like, just, you know, they were, you know, killing zombies too. You know, it was bloody. It wasn't like m messed up, you know. But yeah, and I'm like, dude, this yeah, it was funny. But it was really good. It was really good though. I'll check that. Oh, right. I uh, remember when uh, the boys were little, and uh, I was watching anime of High School of the Dead. <laughs> you thought it was poor. No, it wasn't poor. He said it was sexist. <laughs> <laughs> you guys hear this? <laughs> Boobs and butts. But you know, it was. Yeah, but you know, I, well, that's Japanese for you. I'm not a tourist, so no long routes, yes. Oh God, damn it. He's like, what are you talking about me for? Uh, well, I watch anime anyway. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, damn it. Two seasons in the movie? Um, there's this uh, anime 
that you should watch is based on the game called um, Animusha. It's really good. It's it's dark. It's dark. You'll like it. Animusha. Onimusha. Animusha. Yeah. Um, in the game, I forgot his name, but in the games, you play two different characters, a samurai and a ninja, in a way, and, um, you rescue the princess in the game. They made three games, they made four games of Animusha, but it's really good, you know, but it's really good. It's really good. It's on Netflix right now. Ani Musha, and it only has one season already. But it's good, though. It's really good. The game is good, too. Yeah. <laughs> But I like uh, Attack on Titan, uh, High School of the Dead, Demon Slayer, Animusha, Castlevania, Pokemon, Pokemon, yeah, I'm not a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Yeah. There's so many versions of Pokemon out there, but, you know, the original was better. I remember, I remember one time when Ash, Ash and Pokemon got killed by one of the Pokemon and all the Pokemons were crying and he got revived somehow, came back to life. It was crazy. Pikachu was cute, man. Psyduck was my favorite of all, man. He's like, Psy? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> um, Jigglypuff, my god, it was funny as hell. Everybody was falling asleep on him. Yeah. And then everybody else was like snoring and sleeping, and and then she get, and then Jigglypuff gets so pissed at it, at them, and uh, start drawing on their faces, and they wake up and they had no idea. Team Rocket, oh my God, them two clowns though. What were they, brother and sister? I don't either. Okay. Oh yeah. Dude, I don't mind the blood and the gore. And, you know. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Um, okay, they were brother and sister in Team Rocket. Okay. Yeah, that's what Moni said. You see, I can't remember. That was, like, so long ago. But <clears throat> I watch anything. I'm not picky. Oh yeah, Japanese versions of the show is always going to be a dark version. Oh, there's this uh, live action. I think there's a couple shows you gotta check out. Um, I recommend you guys to watch Hellbound. 
um, home sweet home housing uh, I have not seen that okay I'm gonna watch that I'm gonna watch wait, wait. send me the name on discord right okay send me the name on discord uh send me the name of the, the sh is on netflix ah oh, shit yeah watch hellbound squid game and home sweet home and uh uh all of us are dead or something it's a zombie Really good. It's really good. Yeah, that's my kind of stuff. I like to watch that. All oh, right. Have you watched the new Castlevania series or not yet? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I just finished the whole entire first Castlevania and then after that, I watched the others. Food Wars, um, I think Rebecca was telling me about that. I don't know, I never really watched Food Wars, but. I'm thinking about getting all the animes on um, DVD so I can have them. Not like I have a collection of, you know, weird shit in my damn shelf and stuff, you know. And then someone will probably ask me, "What do you think about porn?" I'll be like, "Awesome. If you don't like porn, then you're a prude. You're a prude." I can ask her, Moni. I can ask her if she watched Food Wars. Um, hold on. I got, I got it. I know. I got it. Let me ask her right now. Oh, by the way, my, my, um... <laughs> Supplies came up in a uh, nightclub. I mean, bunker. <laughs> oh God, Moni, you just told me about that. You should have said that you're. I would have kept my mouth shut. Sorry, Mom. I haven't watched it yet, Custer. Give me a second. I'm asking Rebecca a question for Moni. Keep your pants on, sir. Oh, God, man. Now I have to reply. Same. <laughs> I've seen this trailer before. It's on Crunchyroll, right? 
Oh, I need to get it. I, I want to. Yeah. Yeah. Helsing. Helsing. Um, I've seen the trailer for Helsing before. It looks really good. Now, Food Wars has just asked Rebecca the question. She hasn't responded yet. And uh, Moni says, ew, when I said, keep your pants on. <laughs> oh. Dubbed or Japanese? Good, I can catch up on Attack on Titan. Okay. Um, Moni, Rebecca says no, she has not. Is it on Netflix? No, Moni, Moni would not hear, wouldn't heard you say, uh, they're already off there, Kessler. Now she knows. But if she did, she'd probably be like, damn it. Damn it, Kessler, why? Okay, so it's on Netflix. When I asked Kester, when I told Kester to keep his pants on because he was like, I sent you the trailer. Have you watched it yet? I'm like, not yet. Come on, Python. Have you watched it yet? I'm like, dude, didn't I just say I haven't seen it yet? I just got your message. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Dude, I want to watch it. Rebecca says uh, she'll check it out. The, uh... Food Wars. <gasps> Hold on, guys. I'm gonna ask, you know how I always pick on you, Kester, about Crunchyroll? No, no, I'm gonna say, uh... I'm gonna say, hun, can, can I get crunchy roll? She'd probably be like, you just ate. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Um, I'm, t I'm, I'm, I'm telling her now. Can I have? Crunchy roll. Hey, let's meet up next week. <laughs> I wish I could screenshot it, but <laughs> oh, oh, I just. She's she's replying. She's replying. Hold on. She's replying. Can I have crunchy roll? Uh oh uh oh uh oh. I just said, can I have crunchy roll? She's replying, but she's stopping. What? Uh, I heard about it. <laughs> Dude, she knows what Crunchyroll is. Man. 
The Japanese anime streaming site? How much does it cost? You said what, it's like what, five bucks a month? Don't quote you. Man. She knew it. She knew what it was. And you said nine ninety nine or fourteen ninety nine? Fourteen What's the fourteen ninety nine about? Hmm. Right, okay. Yeah. Right. So seven ninety nine is basic with some ads. Oh, no ads at all. Okay, nine ninety nine is what tier two for up to four devices and watch offline. Okay. Okay. Well, I might as well just go with a basic then. But thing is, though, I don't really watch a lot. You know, I don't watch much. You know, because after work, when I get off at 7, I'm on the game, so. Plus, I have hardly ever watched Netflix, too. Even though I have it, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. I've seen the, um... The thing, so Rockstar is gonna start banning people for accidentally running over someone in a public session. Crazy as fuck. Yeah, I mean, I think the reason why they're cracking them down now is because of GTA 6 coming around the corner, but. Yeah, and that's because a friend of mine said that in the beginning, and I'm like, well, you know, they, they would have done that ten years ago if they wanted to, but wouldn't matter anyway, because people will be able to go to private sessions, private sessions to make sales. I don't know why people would still do public to make money. Probably because of the bonus, but it is what it is. Well, the thing is, though, Custer, I have Peacock, I have Hulu, I have Netflix. But I don't... Yeah, because... Right. I have um, HBO, I have uh, Disney Plus, and I even have Apple. But... Well, Apple... There's only a couple shows on Apple that I would watch. Like, um... I watched Monarch. You know? Godzilla and Kong, you know, series. It's good. Um, it's good. Then I watched Masters of the Air. It's the same people that made, um... The Pacific and Band of Brothers, right? That one's good, too. And then there's another show on there called um, Manhunt. 
is about the assassination of um you know uh, the assassination of Abraham Lincoln which is good yeah yeah and he's not the only person that is involved it's really good I recommend it yeah I recommend it right yeah yeah And Peacock, and Peacock, yeah, I'll get every single WWE and NXT main events, but I, I haven't watched any of it. And the only reason why I got Peacock is because, um, is because of Twisted Metal, the series, first season, you know, based on the game. Why not? Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm just catching up on Moni's comment. I was gonna say, watch her know what Crunchyroll is. Kes told me it was nine dollars, that liar. <laughs> Python, do wear glasses. Oh god. Wait, wait, do I wear glasses? No, but if I did wear glasses, I'd probably be. I'll probably be cute with wearing glasses going, Hello, everybody. I'm smart, and I'm wearing glasses, Kappa. <laughs> no, you... No, no, no. I'm going to walk around <laughs> with glasses on, suspenders, and I'm going to be like, Did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I loved Family Matters. <laughs> yep. And then they and then the doctor hypnotized them and said that Carl he he has a feeling that Carl doesn't like him. And it was pretty but you know, here's a funny thing. Steve Urkel wasn't really supposed to be the main character of the show. He was just be support, you know? And he became, yeah, he became the show. It's about him. But here's a funny thing is that his co-stars did not like that at all because of the focus being on Urkel all the time, you know? But get this, it made money and to this day Jaleel White is always always going to be known as Urkel he, his movie roles you know can't get away with that same thing what happened with Carlton you know I got new glasses last month and I hate them uh oh Yeah, I don't wear glasses at all. I have good vision, but, um, got static on your end, Kessler. A lot of static. Yep, you got static, a lot of it. Mm-hmm, you got static, dude. Alright, man, I'll see ya. Yep, and uh, and when tomorrow I'm playing my game, you're probably gonna be like, Hey Python, you still playing Sea of Thieves? Nope, wait, that ain't it. Uh, you're, nope, nope, that ain't it. <laughs> For five minutes straight. God damn it, Skull and Bones! <laughs> yeah, I know what you meant. Yep, I'll see ya. Have a good night, man. Stay safe. Yeah. Well, guess I'm by myself in a party.
all alone. Boy, Kessler was raging so hard. That's bullshit! How the hell do you survive? So many bullets! I put like 10 bullets in your head, you didn't even die! You didn't even flinch! How? What? Uh, I swear, I was hurting. Yeah, I was hurting. Marjo laughing too, quietly. But we were all having fun, all of us. It's a, it's a, I like, I like playing fun games together. Love you, Kessler. You're a dick. <laughs> Man. Uh, Kessler, I think once you, myself, and Marshall just, you know, get Rise of the Ronin and play together, I think the three of us will have a lot of fun becoming samurais, you know? Seriously. And if we can create our own samurais, I hope I could pick a samurai and dye his hair red. Can you imagine the first ever Japanese redhead? Huh? What do you guys think? The first Japanese redhead. Japanese red-headed samurai. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna call him Kessler. Kessler San. <laughs> My name is Kessler San. Rise of the owner of the Ronin. <laughs> Kessler, what do you think, dude? Name him Kessler san The first ever Japanese redhead. Hmm? Moni says why. Remember, uh, Moni, when I was playing Hogwarts Legacy and I made Kessler into a girl? Yes, think why. Why? Why are you doing that? <laughs> you never see me play Hogwarts Legacy? Oh man, that game is a fun game. I was a uh, Slytherin. My school was Slytherin. Yeah, I made Kessler into a girl. Kessler's character was actually really hot. Ask Kessler. Hey Kessler, when I made you... When I was playing Hogwarts Legacy and I made you into a girl named you Kessler Arcade. What did you think of the character? Pretty good, huh? I mean... Got freckles, glasses, um... White hair with, uh, purple tips. At the edge. I mean, it was really good. Really good. Really good. Yeah, Kessler's character was, was really good. There's a lot of customizations in the game, too. The game took me a um, good minute to beat, though. It was actually really fun. Really, really fun. Okay. Alright. Got nothing there.
Yeah, Ke Ke uh, Kester's character was really good though. In Hogwarts Legacy, it's actually one of those fun games. Yeah, it was. Got a bunch of spells. Um, got creatures everywhere. Use your broom any anytime you want. I really wish it was a new game plus, so that way I can um, continue my progress, but play as a di you know play the same student and be in a different you know different um, team. Because I was already Slytherin. Catching the key. The keys and stuff was actually really cool. The puzzles were challenging. I mean, I still got some stuff to explore. And knock out some things, but... I mean, I beat the whole game. I'm just running around. Got a bunch of creatures and worlds. Alright, once I get done with the sale of my bunker, I'm gonna go to bed. Um. Hopefully, go to bed. Because I'm going to wake up tomorrow and... Do some things and then go to the movies, watch Godzilla. And then when I get back from the theaters, we'll be on Skull and Bones. And then about a week from, to, a week from today, Saturday the 13th, we're getting a puppy um, from Rebecca's co-worker who is giving puppies away and um, and her name is Coco okay If I have to take photos of Coco and share them with you guys on Discord, on on DMs, I'm more than happy to. The first person that's going to see the puppies is probably going to be Moni for the photos. Second person... I'm just kidding. Uh, I'll, just, uh, I'll just share whoever wants to see them. I'll share them with uh, anyone on Discord who wants to, who wants to. So close in getting promoted. Sandy Shore. All right, let's go.
Yep, yep, yep. Don't you forget about me. Hey, Moni. If you're still watching, Caster, if you're still watching, how about this song? Bully in the alley, drunken sailor, leave her, Johnny Beaver. <laughs> uh, I love that song. Okay, where is the chopper at? Now over here. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, okay, it's over here. Damn, okay. I hate that song. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, um, hmm. <sighs> Man, that chopper's coming in hot. Well, when it comes to sea shanties, Leave her Johnny is good, Drunken Sailor is good, Bully in the Alley is good, but every time there's like, if you bump into something in the game, they stop singing. Um, and that's only on Skull and Bones. Any other game, um, like Assassin's Creed, um, Black Flag, or anything else, they'll sing. I think they do the same thing. I don't remember, but yeah, I mean those sea shanties are really catchy. You know, they've been in movies. They've been in um, they've been in a lot of movies, and um, it's just catchy. You know, catchy. That's all it is. Oh wow! Look at me. I got promoted, and my health went up. Yay! Super strong. Yeah, that's all it is. It's catchy. It's not like... Oh, God, man. Look at that. I'm looking for that particular song, you know, to make them sing it. No. Because when it comes to, like, saying movies like Pirates of the Caribbean... With uh, Johnny Depp and stuff, and watching the movies like Master and Commander, Far Side of the World with Russell Crowe. Um, then you got Treasure Island and stuff, you know, movies, old classic movies. I mean, it's good, it's really cool, it's fun. But that's all it is, really. It's not like, uh, oh, I'm just doing it on purpose. Nah. Alright, my bunker's full. We're gonna sell it. See what we get. If we get a good, good delivery vehicle, we'll stick to it. 
Let me make sure my spawn location is in the bunker. It is. Okay, good. Two point one million, double money. Monster trucks, not good. I can't do this on my own. I don't really care about the percentage of success. So yeah, I'm not really looking for for the success of the sale anymore. I'm just looking for specifics like one drop insurgents or semis. And then good to go from there. I'm not worried about the double money. Just one time and then that's it. Because I made my money back from buying the Gauntlet Interceptor police car from the Cluckin' Bell Farm Raid from four weeks ago. So it's really, really not worth my time to uh, keep going, you know, like with uh, events like this because dude I'm waiting for the next business DLC that will be suitable and worth doing not a contact mission that lasts like a day or two days or a week you know so there's no new cars to buy um there are cars to get that I don't have. Like the really, 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 really crappy ones. And of course there's some rare vehicles that the game doesn't have anymore. And you can't get them if you already have them, you know? So, I mean there's other ways for me to keep grinding for and get certain vehicles like for example the arena war um arena war and the contact mission ranking up get to the max rank to unlock different rare, rare vehicles to own like the uh military uh truck um, tractor, um, space docker, um, shit, cement truck, things like that. I got some special vehicles like that, but, um, to get the rest, I have to play Arena War. But the problem is, is that you don't rank up a lot in the AP rank, Arena War, um, rank system. So it's kind of pointless. So yeah, it's kind of pointless to do. Not worth my time.
Did that NPC just admitted that they were making love and her place of work? That's pretty naughty. That's naughty, dude. Very, very naughty. I told you! We can't have sex at my job! I might get fired! And then the other person on the other end going, So? Let's do it anyway. You can go to your boss's office and do it on the couch. But we can't do it! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, there's some shows, like I was saying earlier, that you guys should watch on Netflix. One of them is called Hellbound. Hellbound is a life and death scenario where if you're visited by a big glowing entity of a head, he'll tell you when you're going to die by telling you the time and date. So it could be, you're going to die in two minutes. You're going to die in about a week on a Friday. Different things. It's pretty gruesome. It's pretty, pretty gruesome. These things from hell comes out and chases you down, beats the crap out of you. And then right before you're about to die, they burn you up, meaning you're going to hell. You know, and it's really, really violent. Another good um, show or movie, Train to Busan, is really good. Um, it was on Netflix for the longest time. Um, Squid Game is good. There's this game called, um, Game. There's this movie that Rebecca and I watched. It was about, um... Shit, I can't even think of the name of the movie. Or TV show. But this movie was actually based on the true story, though. It was about the um, kids stuck in a cave due to the flooding. They were there for a long, long time. They were running out of food. They were hungry, and divers had to go there with food, try to find them and try to rescue them. And they have a plan to get them out by drugging them to make them not move and freak out because of the distance of the cave because of how flooded it was. It was it's really good. Really good, good movie. Because it was so true of what happened. Dude, I can't think of the name of it though. But it's on Netflix I think. Um There was this one movie that I did watch. I don't think it was a true story or not, but um, it was like a cave, a tunnel, 
some guy going in there in the tunnel with a car and then all of a sudden it was a cave-in. Yeah, that one was good too. It was terrifying. Two hundred twenty nine thousand. Okay. Yeah, that one was good, though. That movie. With the cave, cave in and stuff, and the uh, kids in the Indonesia, I think it was, with the flood. Um, TV series, Home Sweet Home is good, Hellbound, Squid Game, second season. Coming. Same with Sweet Home Sweet Home and All of Us Are Dead. Those were good. Hmm. You know, let me go ahead and sell it. No, I'm not gonna wait till it's fucking full. I'm kinda getting tired. Yeah, thank okay. you, God. This is the what I want to do right here. Semi and trailer. Let's go. Sell my bunker now for two million seventy nine thousand instead of two point one. I might as well just sell it because I'm not gonna be on GTA Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday for the next couple of days anyway. The only reason why I'm on GTA five is because of the event week of bunker sales. I thought I would have been able to sell this yesterday, but it wasn't quite there to sell until now. So, I'll be on a totally different game today, Saturday, April 6th, and Sunday, April 7th. Monday, April 8th, after work. Tuesday, April 9th, after work. And Wednesday, April 10th, after work. The event week for GTA actually started Thursday. 
April 4th and it ends to Wednesday, April 10th overnight, like 3 or 4 in the morning, Thursday, early, early morning. I love it when, um, when people ask, what's the event week? And all you gotta do is say, read the newswire. If you're on Twitter or X, follow Grand Theft Auto and, or Rockstar Games, and it tells you right there, same information. Same kind of information that um, I follow, which is Rockstar Games. That's it. Even if I'm playing, let's say, for example, Red Dead Redemption 2. That's the event week, for example. And that starts on... Uh, think Tuesdays ends on Mondays almost the same kind of information like of course two different games but I haven't played Red Dead Redemption 2 in years that game is basically done it's online it's not that good I don't even do anything online One more truck to get, and then I'm pretty much set. Hopefully. Pistachios. Just kidding. truck and semi and then we're gonna make a trip to the nightclub and pull the money out as well hopefully if not that's okay we will we will see if we have to do another mission or something and then we're gonna go to bed it's 2am almost like 6 minutes <sighs> hmm.
Get a move on, this is taking too long. Alright, Asian 14, keep your pants on. But I can't. I gotta go somewhere. I got other runs to do. Looks like you sold out. Good enough, the right people too. Only the good wars being fought with those guns. Promise. All right, we made some good money. All right, let's go to the nightclub now. See what I need to do and get off. Yeah, I'm going to do a, another popularity mission for sure. Get the money out anyway. I got something that's really gonna jazz you up. <laughs> We're a dance club, right? How about I get us a sl
like crazy bastards I'm an artist should lose them there it is nice, man. screw those guys profiting off of my image all right let's do this man I hope I'm not doing celebrity love it's always nice when there are some industry folks around oh hey you know anyone's interested in hearing my show pitch it's like one of those races where you're running through the mud pits and jumping over shit on fire but it's mixed with swinging and wife swapping and shit. It's... I'm gonna host it, of course. So, we should go get my assistant. You wanna get your assistant, huh? My agent about the rom-com pilot? Nothing yet, but you know, no news is good news. All right, and how are my t-shirt sales going? Ah, uh, yeah, the factory in China burned down last night, so not good. But I found another place though. I saw that my mom crossed. Oh, yes, yeah, she said if you dare to write another memoir, she'll sue you for defamation again. And she said she loves you. And can you send her thirty grand? TV is really going to your head. <sighs> All right. Paradise, huh? Let's get to the VIP room, baby. Thanks for the ride. You could have just sent a car, you know. Okay. Let's change my outfit, shall we, for a second? For some wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you up. It's coming at you.
Now I'm gonna do, hold up. Um. Let me just go here for a second. I'm gonna go to a public lobby, see what happens. Killing people. People are still killing people. got a tank up here but what kind of tank Jolly.
A lot of people driving other people's cars. Huh? That's funny. Turn the storage. I'm gonna get off though. I'm tired. Anyway, that was fun. Just did a couple sales and <clears throat> I sailed my bunker and uh, a few sales in the acid lab, but majority of the time uh, we were able to get our money back from buying the gauntlet interceptor police car so we're good I will be keeping an eye out on GTA's um, event week every Thursday we'll see what they are if it's a good week we'll be on it if it's a bad week it wouldn't matter um, we'll be playing different games if it's a bad, terrible week. So, with that being said, yeah, have a good one, everyone. I'll see you guys.